Hi, chat. Happy Saturday. Thank you, everyone, for wishing me a happy affiliate. I had no idea it was even today, but how exciting is that? Hi, Neva. Hi, Miss Macchiato. Hi, Internet Girl. Hi, Vanilli. Hi, Mutton. How are we doing, everyone? <sighs> Hi, Alex. Hi, Indigo. Leave your Sims 3 open. Sims 3 time playing together. Like my necklace, isn't it cute? My hair is like so curly. Need to brush her out. Hi, Larry. Hi, Space Apples. Yeah, it was a surprise affiliate birthday today. I had no idea it was my affiliate birthday. You're looking at CC. Oh, yeah, I've been seeing. Oh, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me turn on my volume. Lord Asphalt 28 just subscribed. This is longer than I've known a lot of my friends. Hashtag introvert things. <laughs> Same. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Hi, Joanna. Let me put per usual. We gotta link the uh, Twitch chat in the YouTube stream in case any of the YouTube peoples want to uh, come Twitch. on. Oh, Echo. Sorry, guys. I'm sure that was probably loud. I apologize. Hi, LR. Um, Granzaddy asks in the Twitch, uh, the YouTube chat, is this on Twitch? Yes. I gotta link that. Watch on Twitch with join us on Twitch. Let's put a little tool up. I've been loving. The tulip emoji is just so cute. It's so cute. Do I play Stardew Valley? I I have played Stardew Valley. I pretty much completed it. I know the new update came out, um, but I haven't gotten around to haven't gotten around to playing the new update yet. I went to Boston last week. That was super exciting. I saw my brother. You're, you're watching in the UK. You're staying up late. What time is it? Didn't the clocks go back? UK time. Let's see what time it is. 11.30 at night. It's kind of late. <laughs> I'd still be up. I'd still be... I, I, my eyes would be like this. That's like the peak of my night is like 11.30ish. That's like when I'm at my most energetic. Oh, I also got some new earrings. Um... I got like I got like the one one earring type type deal that they look like w multiple earrings though aren't they cute? You guys can't see them. Maybe I should put them in this ear. But here but here's the thing I have my cartilage pierced up here so I don't want to like overload my ear with too many piercings. I also did my nails last night. Look how cute these are. Oh ignore the makeup on my hand. Oh what is that? Oh it's not makeup. It's like loose skin from when I was filing my nails last night ignore ignore my my loose skin it looks like, like a oh like a callus a little ooh. okay it's gone now <laughs> look how cute these are i love my nails it makes me feel like so put together anyway i'm also wearing some new eyelashes i'm wearing i normally don't wear like eyelash uh what are they what are they called false eyelashes but I'm trying like manga eyelashes because I see girls wear them. And I'm like, I want my eyelashes to look like that. I, I fear that I don't really understand how to wear eyelashes because they it looks like I don't even have eyelashes on. But here are the manga lashes. They're cute. But they don't look like I have lashes on. Maybe I should have curled. I probably should have curled them on. So let me try and I can try and push them up with my finger. I just I hate I hate the inner corner of my eye when the eyelash like pops up it makes me so mad <laughs> Maddie Amazon storefront win I know I I need to I really need to make an updated where I get my CC and like custom content and all that kind of stuff sort of video on YouTube but I'm like in the middle of school and it is like draining. Like I come home, internet girl, thank you. Thank you, thank you. In three R and three TG, one RL just <laughs> The way she reads is so funny. Hi, Murto. Um, no, I come home from school and I hop in this bed, y'all, and I nap for like four hours. Like I sleep so long when I get home from school that it technically is a whole nother rest. Also, I uh, got some blood work done. I don't know if I mentioned this last Friday. I got some blood work done 
I think it was, I don't remember, it was when I got home from Boston um, and I got my results back. I went to the doctor just to do like a checkup and I found out I have low iron and like one of the biggest symptoms of having low iron and females usually tend to have low iron anyway, just because, you know, when you get your monthly, it like makes your iron low, I guess. I don't, I don't know the logistics, but on average, females do tend to have lower, lower iron. But one of the biggest symptoms of having low iron is being tired all the time. And holy, that explains so much because I could like sleep for like 14 hours and wake up and like two hours later, I'm exhausted and feel like I need to go back to bed. So that's where I'm at. Always tired, need a nap. Um, low iron. Yeah, not unusual for girls to have anemia or low iron. Yeah, my my doctor was like, yeah, you have mild anemia. Like, okay, cool. <laughs> oh, I get like bruised super easily too, and I think that that's a symptom of low iron, like being bruised easily. Isn't that a symptom of low iron? I don't know, but I bruise like super easily. Like I'll wake up and I'll have like bruises on my legs. I'm like, where do these come from? I don't even go outside. Where do these, all these bruises come from, you know? It's actually, wait, life-changing? Wait, it, taking iron pills is life-changing? My mom is a nurse and she said that if you take iron pills, it makes you super constipated. I don't know, this is just my, my nurse mother speaking, but apparently alongside iron pills, you have to take like a stool softener because it makes you like super constipated, so. If you take iron pills, let me know if that's true. Hi, hey, Patrika. School update. Should we do a school update? So I have a calculus test. My my mom says it turns your poop um green. That's what my mom said. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> this is like an interesting conversation. School update. People that skip here in the YouTube video, like when I do like the timestamps on the YouTube video for the playback. <laughs> When I do my like talking in the beginning, they're like, what are you, what are you talking about? We're talking about low iron and what to do about it. Cause I have low iron apparently according to my doctor. Um, no, but how is school going? All right, let's do the official Maddie school update. So my last day, I'm like counting down the days to my, my last day of my semester. Y'all I'm taking, I took way too many classes, like difficult classes. Take, I'm taking calculus two. Physics one, physics lab, you have to take the lab and physics together. I'm taking uh, computer science classes, obviously. And it's just, I sh what I should have done is I should have taken, oh, Larry, thank you. I appreciate it. The bitty. Yes, I'm taking calculus two and it is so hard guys. Like calculus two is so much memory and I have a very poor memory, especially for subjects like math because I hate math. I really do. I love computer science and I love learning about coding and all that kind of stuff, but I just hate math. I really do. And so I have a take home exam um, because we had a snow day for school. Thank you, New York, for snowing. By the way, it was snowing up until yesterday. Hello. Yesterday it snowed in New York, like blizzard type of snow. It is more than halfway through March and we're still getting like incredible amounts of snow. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see my snow updates and stuff. Yeah, I'm taking physics as well. So it's it's difficult. I just got a physics lab back and I got like a 40 on it. Um, luckily, he lets us resubmit it. So I have to do that. I always resubmit my labs. If a teacher lets me resubmit my work, I do resubmit because I obviously want to get a better grade. But that's kind of where I'm at with school. I'm like counting down the days and the weeks until my last day. Let's see when my, how many days till, days till May 12th, 50 days, that's it. I only have to do math or calculus two level math for 50, as long as I pass, as long as I pass. May 12th, guys, May 12th, 50 more days, that's it. That's it, and then I can have my life back. I feel like I'm, so burnt out on learning in school and it's just so it's just painful i i just don't care about physics i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i just don't like physics when i was in computer science i don't even understand why we need that much but i don't understand either my brother works as a software engineer and he does not he doesn't remember anything in calculus meaning he probably 
doesn't use it much when he's at, or at all if any um, i would love to stream during the summer unfortunately i am taking summer classes too i'm taking discrete math and i'm taking physics too during the summer <sighs> moment of silence for me i would love to stream more though um i just got the last of us part one the game and i'm playing marvel's spider-man right now and it is so f i love just swinging around the city not the miles morales version the uh remastered spider marvel spider-man remastered i'm playing it right now and it's so fun playing it off stream but i would love to play more of those kind of games you know so anyway that's my that's my update with school school is literally like draining me i'm happy we looked it up I only have 50 more days so Moment of silence for me, prayer for me. Oh, that's a good subject, Joanna. What do I think of the Sims movie? I am like, if it actually happens, which we'll see, we'll see if it happens. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. As someone with a playwriting, screenwriting bachelor's degree, they could take this so many different places. They could go for like a Sims lore perspective of a Sims movie, which I don't think they'll do, unfortunately. That's like, the thing with doing like a Sims lore type of movie is it would really only be, it would only be, it would only mean stuff for people who are already in that community. And I think a Sims movie is going to try and captivate an audience that doesn't actively play Sims, but maybe did when they were younger or has heard of Sims before. Like they have to appeal to the general masses, unfortunate as unfortunate as it is. And I think that's the way that a Sims movie will go is they're gonna try and make it similar probably similar to the barbie movie if i had to um if i had to guess that's kind of the perspective that i'm going to assume that is they're going to take with it i think they're going to do a thing where it's like barbie or you know how in the barbie movie they were like seeping into like the real world they're like escaping into the real world i think it's gonna be similar for the sims movie it's gonna be like breaking the breaking the fourth wall when you're playing the game you know how in like sims 2 when they when you sometimes they'll like look at you in the camera and it's like breaking the fourth wall moment that's gonna be the whole sims movie i think so that's that's my that's my guess someone can clip this right now and we'll come back to it if the movie actually does come out whenever it does but um yeah i'm gonna be interested and i i think margot robbie being a producer is great that's phenomenal but i have my reservations about it and i'm a skeptic i'm a skeptic i'm a skeptical person so we'll, we'll see how that goes but i'm excited i mean i i don't i don't know if it's gonna be a type of movie that i would be like oh, i'm gonna watch it again type of thing just because i can foresee it being kind of maybe a little bit cringy because sims 4 like if you've ever seen the trailers for sims 4 like the voiceovers are kind of cringy the way that they direct those trailers is so cringy and i think that maybe a sims movie would be a little bit cringy um but i would love a sims lore movie but i i'm sorry i can't i can't see it happening i think they will probably put tidbits of sims lore in a sims related related movie but i don't think it's gonna be like figuring out the the missing story of bella goth you know what i mean it's not gonna it's not gonna be something like that so that's kind of my reservations about it they'll have i think at the bare minimum if you're looking for like a sims lore related movie they'll have some they'll have like iconic people in it maybe like bella or something maybe bella and like dawn maybe the caliente sisters even if we're lucky but um oh why do i keep getting bots how how is the nightbot not catching the bots that's the most confusing part ban the ban hammer i think it's because i didn't put a link in their message that's probably why okay so that's kind of where i'm at for like a sims related movie that's kind of how I'm, how I'm feeling about that i really want to oh hello from poland i would love a pierogi right now <laughs> when i think poland i think pierogies I was Boston. Oh, I should talk about my Boston trip. So last week I streamed, I strummed, <laughs> I strummed on Friday. <laughs> I don't know why my mind went there. I streamed on Friday, past tense of streamed, can be, maybe be strummed. Um, no, I 
streamed on Friday because the following morning I was driving with my mom to Boston. I wasn't driving. My, my mom was driving. She would not let me drive her car all the way to Boston. But yeah, it was really fun. I saw my brother. We went into Boston, which a little bit overstimulating. Like I get very, very overstimulating. Also it was St. Patrick's weekend and St. Patrick's Day apparently in Boston is a very big ordeal. So there was like so many, like way too many people got very overstimulated. I didn't bring a jacket with me. So that was kind of my, my mistake. So when we went down to the water, it was so cold. It was like 40 degrees in Boston. It was terrible. But overall, um, Boston was fun. It was fun. It was fun seeing my brother. That's the reason why we went. So that was fun. Uh, Emma has a question. Quick question, completely unrelated to Sims 3 or 4. I'm doing a rotational gameplay in Sims 2. In what age do you determine the teens go to college? I do it when they are a day before aging up to a young adult or an adult sorry so when you get that pop-up that's like tomorrow so and so it'll be their birthday that's what i do the movie is going to be nostalgia based and i feel like the movie is going to be nostalgia based and be most similar to sims sims oh sims 2 i'm like that's what that's what I would like to see, like a Sims 2 lore type type movie, but it's not gonna be that. It ha you have to think about it has to be appealing to people who aren't in the Sims community and know zero about Sims lore, but they maybe grew up playing Sims or like um are interested in like games, like they casually play it. You know what I mean? I don't think it's gonna be something that's gonna be Sims lore related and unfortunate, unfortunately. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm uh, Yunki says about the movie. I don't doubt that Margot could possibly know about Sims and the lore or stuff, but I'm worried it's just a quirky little game for her and other producers and there won't be any lore unfortunately i think there'll be like i mentioned there'll be like little easter eggs but nothing it has to, it has to appeal to a general audience it just not takes ass i installed lambs milking it coral dairy and it's still not working uh, do you have the store fixes as well do you know why my game the sims 3 won't let me save after using by debug you have to get updated store fixes which you can find on our discord maybe diving very lightly into the lore just enough that they would be able to explain it in a small amount of time i kind of hope they don't go too deep and mess it up my the closest thing i can kind of relate like a sims movie to is the five no five nights at freddy's movie which i like fnaf <laughs> i grew up like watching markiplier and that sort of thing so I also love horror games. I do, even though they freak me out so bad. Like I could never play Outlast, but I love to watch it. Like I love, I've watched PewDiePie play it. I've watched Markiplier play it. I've watched Jack Jacksepticeye. Like I've watched the whole slew of YouTubers play Outlast, but I know myself, I could never play Outlast. It's just too, like it freaks me out too much, right? So I like FNAF. I've never played it before, but I've seen everyone and their mother play it, which and I've also watched like all the Matt Pat lore videos and like the four. Like I I, I fall I fall asleep on my iPad. I fall asleep to FNAF lore videos at night. Like the four hour movie length, longer than a movie length type of FNAF lore videos because I love them so much. And it just brings me like to a place of comfort. Like for me, FNAF is like cozy in my bed, in my pajamas, just washed my hair washed my face, got my skincare on, and I'm like comfortable. I'm comfortable, I'm cozy, and that's what FNAF brings me. Anyway, with that said, I saw the FNAF movie in theaters with my boyfriend, and it didn't do it for, like it wasn't scary. And it, in fact, it was completely opposite of what we know about FNAF. Like, for example, if you didn't see the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, Josh Hutcherson, main character mr whistleman he he plays mike and in the five minutes at freddy's game the reason why it's so scary is because you have monsters running 
on both sides of the hallway and you're stationary you're 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 put in an office where you can't escape and the only thing you can do is like close the doors right in fnaf the first fnaf game you all you can do is close the doors. that's all you can do in fnaf to defend yourself but in the fnaf movie josh hutcherson who's assumedly the guy in the office in the first game he's like moving around the the um fazbear's pizza place and it's not like he's like stationary or in a room like trapped in a room and the animatronics are coming and scaring him and like it, it doesn't carry the same vibe as the game does so that's why bringing linking it back to what i was saying about a sims a sims movie i think it's gonna be extremely different and i will actually be super surprised if there is any bit of lore because i feel like the five and Freddy's movie had very very little little bit of FNAF lore in it so that's that's kind of that's kind of like where I my my point of view where I can kind of uh link it to I, I unfortunately I think it'll have like some very surface level references to Sims lore like Bella Goff and maybe like even Don Lothario for Lucky but beyond that I can't see it referencing like Bella's disappearance or anything like that just because it does have to appeal to a general audience it has to make people want to go and sit in the theater even if they don't know any sims lore did I blab about a sims movie enough I'm very passionate about this because this is what this is what I I'm a screenwriter you know I got my degree in screenwriting this is I like to analyze these kind of things and in, in that sort of that sort of space so I'm passionate about this kind of stuff and looking at it from like an analytical standpoint i think it's uh interesting to hear thank you for the affiliate congratulations i didn't even know it was my like affiliate who knows my affiliate birthday <laughs> like it brought in the man killed little kids stuffed them into a pizza di diner animatronic child icon and then dies from the same thing yeah yeah. With Sims 2 Pleasantville no novella style movie would slap though. It would. It would. But I feel like in order to get that, it would be made by an independent filmmaker. You know what I mean? It'd be, it would be made by someone who is into film and also Sims. It can't be like a person in like an executive suit working at a big company that will make that kind of movie because it has to make money and make and sell tickets did you just start playing the sims 3 no we haven't started yet that's what you're asking <clears throat> i need to write a screenplay for a sims movie <laughs> maybe no i i am so discouraged because i tried to get a job for like eight months in film or something like that um this was m before I started to that I went back to school for computer science, but I tried for like eight months to get a job in social media or film or something adjacent. And it was so discouraging getting nothing. So I haven't I haven't literally opened up my screenwriting software since I got out of college because it's just it being rejected so many times by jobs it plays on you psychologically even if you say oh it doesn't like it doesn't really affect me like a rejection letter is just a rejection letter like i gotta keep going that's what i say like that's my mantra in my head but then here i am you know a year out of college and i haven't even touched my screenwriting software because being rejected so many times by companies and like places where i wanted to get a job was so discouraging and disheartening to me that it killed it sapped my passion for writing and screenwriting <sighs> so that's what i'm going back to school for computer science speaking of computer science should i show you guys the game i made i made another game shoot as copyrighted music in it oh well screw it all right, so if you don't know, I've been developing my own games and I've been taking some classes to develop said games. So let's see if I can open this up. Let me show you guys my, my new game. Here we go. It's a quick draw game, right? So you have to 
And when you see the exclamation point, oh, the AI, the AI won. When you see the exclamation point. Isn't that cute? It's like super simple. Oh, the AI won again, man. See, and if I, if I click it too fast, it fails me. The sprites are cute, aren't they? I won, beach. I reacted faster. Yes. Did you decide them? No. They are a uh, like core type hook. Get that ugly toad. Yes. Oh, the AI is so fast. So, all right, there you go. That that is my game. Uh, I made it in Unreal Engine if you're curious and I've just been like dabbling in game design and that sort of thing. If you didn't catch it a couple times ago, I also made like a parkour Fall Guys meets Only Up sort of obstacle course game, which was my first ever game I made in Unreal. <laughs> the Sims looks different from what I remember, yeah. Unreal Engine Professional, I wish. Yeah, I, I love making 2D games in Unreal. It's so fun. It is so fun. I definitely want to make more 2D games. Oh, shoot. I have to install Grandma's Canning Station. I was not here this week because I was in Boston. So I forgot to download Grandma's Canning Station. We still need to get this because this is, this is going to be part of our homestead life. And then I think last time, didn't I say I wanted to move to Barnacle Bay at the end of the stream. I think I think that's what I wanted to do. All right, so let's go. Let's go to my EA store content source. And we're going to look up. I know you guys can't see. Sorry, I can't show it. YouTube, YouTube don't like when I show this, but if you want to if you want to get get your store content, check our Discord. It's great. It's not it's not worth it. We have to. We have to. We have to we have to move unfortunately grandma's canning station where is what set is this from does anyone know what is grandma's canning station from can i find it oh brunch at the old mill oh this is such a cute set it comes with a tea tea table a tea table brunch at the old mill we're gonna download all items as one package file and then we have to also get Barnacle Bay. Ugh, yuck. We don't like Barnacle Bay in this house. Do, do, do. Where is she? There she is. Download Barnacle Bay. It's 1 a.m. right now. Lova. I like it as decor in my kitchen, but the gameplay is lacking. I hate those stupid boots that come with Barnacle Bay. They make me so upset. All right, we're going to get... Uh, we're gonna get the the Old Valley Mill. Have to watch Rakowski play in Barnacle Bay. Now this. <laughs> Listen, you'll have your well, you'll have the whole stream of us in of us in Riverview, and then yeah, then at the end you have to watch him play. Or have us move to Barnacle Bay, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna download Barnacle Bay. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, sorry, I gotta crack my neck. I'm sorry if that grosses you guys out. I have to crack my neck though, because it was feeling, my neck was feeling crispy. My neck was feeling real crispy. All right, I'm gonna go to the Google Doc on our Discord. We're gonna go to Sims 3 CC. We're gonna look at the pins and we're gonna find the secret, secret, Google Doc of all of Barnacle Bay stuff. Cool. All right, it has been downloaded. Now we wait. Yeah, I'll make it entertaining. You know, I'll try for you guys. I will try for you guys. All right, we got Grandma's canning station. So I'm gonna crumple up my, it has like cat hair and stuff on it. <laughs> you just can't see it. My cats love to walk all, all over my desk. Barnacle Bay and Lunar Lakes are your least favorite worlds. Lunar Lakes is probably my least favorite. I've actually come around to Barnacle Bay because of Dina and Nina. They like, 
they make me happy whenever I see them in the game. All right, gotta get on my secret Google Doc. And an error is keeping you from copying the file. Oh, is it not done yet? It might not be downloaded yet. Do I have to extract it? Why is it not letting me put it? My, why is it saying an error is on a, Try again. Why, why can't I? It's done downloading. The, the world does not want me to be in Barnacle Bay, I guess. Yeah, saying an error, an unexpected error is keeping you from copying this file. If you continue to receive the error, you can use the error code to search for help with this problem. It's not the Sims Relauncher, it's like Windows is giving me this error. Try again. Try again. <laughs> like she won't install. I might actually already have it in my game. What the hell? Like won't let me copy it into my folder. Hmm. Okay then. Let me close out EA app because sometimes EA app does some sketchy stuff. Hi from Korea. Hi Elizabeth. Yeah, I still can't copy the freaking file. What if I try to extract it? Okay, I have extracted it. Oh, it just had to be unstracted or extracted. Did I say unstracted? I don't know what I said. Are you doing a challenge? Yes. All right. Let's get our Sims game open. <laughs> Watch Dina and Nina breed the whole town. We're gonna go to our downloads. We're gonna install Barnacle Bay. I need to link the challenge rules too in um in uh, the Twitch, but I will wait until this installs. You've been doing, you've been ordering Korean makeup and Korean fashion. It makes me so happy to wear. Korean fashion is so cute. I love Korean fashion. I also, I love like manga lashes, but I put them on today because I got some, I showed them earlier. Like here are the manga lashes I got from Timu. Look at this. They're so cute. Look how cute these are. But it doesn't even look like I have lashes on. Like why doesn't it look like I don't even have them on? Oop, not the pink backgrounds. Does it look like I have lashes on? I don't think it does. It's so annoying that the madly spinning camera glitch reappears after every EA app. Wait, is that why it keeps happening to me? Is that why it keeps happening to me? Manga lashes remind me of S Club lashes. Girl on Timu. I think like, yeah. Because otherwise I'd be ordering them from like AliExpress, which I'm pretty sure AliExpress is like the same thing as Timu, isn't it? I don't have, I, I just, all I do is put mascara on my bottom lashes. Wait, I got to make sure the spinny camera glitch is not happening to me now that you said that. Because EA app might have updated. I love you passionately. It's like so stupid. It's almost, why does usage sharing keeps turning on every single time I update the app? It's like, what is going on? Application updates, enable background services. No, enable in-game overlay. Look at that, it's on. It's on. Turn that nasty, nasty off. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Turn that off right now. I need that out of my face. I'm yeah. I'm very. I'm very pale. Um. I. I put my my uh, elf halo glow on my face today using a brush. So that's why I might look different. Like I'm kind of glowing. My skin is glowing because of the elf halo glow. Don't think it's like my skin naturally. Although skin brought to you by Accutane. The Accutane really did wonders for my skin. If you have acne. Get yourself some Accutane. Just don't get pregnant on Accutane because that would that's that's very bad. But <laughs> Accutane solved my acne. It's the only thing that solved my acne problems. 
I mean, I've showed you guys the before and after pictures. They don't lie. I show them again. Get a little, well, will we load up some Sims 3? I mean, let me show you my before and after my Accutane journey because that was so bad. So you might have not have seen it. Um, Accutane, let me see. All right, look at my, this was my Accutane journey. This is, this was crazy. Yeah, this, so this was before, obviously. And this was like eight months of treatment. Hey, Pookie. Accutane is great, pretty expensive. I, I had it completely covered by my health insurance. So, I didn't have to pay anything. I'm wearing the same necklace. <laughs> Look, the same necklace I have it on right now. Oh my gosh, but yeah, this was the only thing that cleared my skin. Like this was so bad. I cannot believe my skin was like this. And here we are now, like nine months later. It's the only thing that worked. Why did Twitch censor Pookie? They're censoring Malachi. They won't let me, they won't let him call me Pookie. All right, so Barnacle Bay has unfortunately been installed. Sad day it is. What is the challenge you're doing? Isn't it in the title? Yeah, it's in the title. <laughs> Wait, isn't it? Is it not in the title? Oh no, it's not in the title. It's in, it's in, it's in the title of the Twitch, but not the YouTube's. Let me let me change the title for the YouTube so it's it's congruent. We don't want one. We don't want one title to be different. Was my acne hormonal? Yes, yes it was. It was the only thing that fixed it for me all right titles are the same i'm gonna link the rules challenge rules i'm gonna pin them in the twitch chat just in case because i can have easy access to them why did i close out the youtube stream oh my lord i'm a mess i'm gonna load into our world not the youtubes the youtubes I think I'm, I, I should, my streams should start earlier in Europe now, right? Like an hour earlier. Cause we put the time, we put the clocks back forward. Do we do it back or I think we put the clocks forward. So doesn't that know that that means my streams would be later, right? I don't know. Europeans, you don't do daylight savings. So let me know, are my streams earlier or later for you now that we did daylight savings like two weeks ago? Oh, Monte Vista. I didn't even think I have not played Monte Vista in a long time. It's been a minute. Hi, Angel Sims. I'm in the UK and it's currently midnight. So did my stream start earlier or like if I start at like 7.15 EST in America, does that mean it's earlier or later? I, I can't figure it out. My like my brain, my brain hurts trying to figure it out. <laughs> I think that means it should start later, right? Okay. Oh, earlier in the UK, I had to remind myself. Oh, okay. So it starts earlier. Interesting. All right. We have Mocha here. Our girly pop Mocha. I forgot we adopted a horse in the last stream. Um, before we hop into any gameplay, I'm going to put down the brand new lot that we installed. Uh, we installed the old Valley mill. That reminds me of Legally Blonde. If you're a musical girly, you know. She's straight up the, at the Old Valley Mill. Oh, the Old Valley Mall. Am I just like a musical theater kid or do you guys know what I'm talking about? In Legally Blonde the Musical, come on. Oh my God, oh my God, you guys. Looks like I was gonna win the prize. Is, is the lot like not in here? Oh Lord, I guess it's not in here, whatever. You, look, you love Legally Blonde? Have you seen the musical though? Legally Blonde the Musical. It's different. Oh, it's your one of your favorite. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you've seen the musical. All right, let's see if we have. Okay, now we have to look for the canning station. My gosh. It's going to be like buried, isn't it? I forgot we had a lemonade stand too. You almost went to law school because of Elwood's. <laughs> I love what she inspires that though. Okay, where's my canning station, EA? Oh, we have a. Buzzer free free fro machine. Oh, it's under stoves. Oh, Patrika, you are you are oh you're clutch. Look at it! Oh, 
<gasps> grandma's canning station actually my grandma came over today that's why i started to stream a little bit late it's because i was helping my grandma whenever my grandma comes over she like uses me to okay i say i say uses loosely okay grandma if you're watching this don't get offended but when i say when i say uses me um no but my grandma she always has me like help her with her ipad because she doesn't know how to work it so shout out grandma <laughs> Look at that tan tinted skin right there. Wait, where? Tan tinted skin? What is tan tinted skin? Is that me? Am I tan for once in my life? No, I'll, I I I just don't tan. I just burn like immediately. I, the sun the sun sees my white skin and it's like, ooh, something we can burn. Tasty. Um, let's get a cute. I want to get a cute little pattern for this that looks. Oh, what if we do pink? What if we do pink? Do like a little pink color. That'd be cute. I love this music. It's so like chill hop. Oh, you're singing Legally Blonde. I all I know is, oh my god, you guys. That's the only song I know from that musical because I never saw it on Broadway. I saw on Broadway. I guess I could listen to like the songs on Spotify, but I love. Oh my god, you guys, it's so catchy. You had a sunburn in February, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> you ordered some panda, y'all. I think I'm gonna have to get Taco Bell tonight. I hate doing it. You know, I need to save. I need to save money. I'm a college student. I need to save. Matt, Maddie, you need to save money. You need to save money. Stop going to Taco Bell. But I'm hungry. I forgot we had a baby in the last stream. Okay, so I think we need to do a little recap. Before I get my recap on, I need to get a hydration up. Okay, wait, take care of your horse real quick because I don't think you've taken care of her in a minute. We love Mocha, we do. Talk to her, rub her neck, so on and so forth. Why are you frozen? She's in frozen mid-step. Come on, Sage, get it together. Oh my gosh, she's like trotting in place. I love to see that. That was like a Pixar moment right there. Ahem. <clears throat> The canning station is from the brunch of the Old Valley Mill set from the Sims store. I'm gonna grab my headphones too, just so I can hear my game. Hear what's going on. Why is Sage stuck? She's literally stuck like mid-step. What is going on? Girly, what is what is happening? <clears throat> oh no, Mayo, I Mayo, I forgot to or Maya, I forgot to get the freaking mod. The one that you were talking about. Damn it. I forgot to get it. Also, I need to do a mic test. Let's do a mic test. Oh, I have static. No, I hate when my mic is staticky. I'm sorry if you guys had to listen to my staticky mic for like an hour. Mic test, mic test. How are we? How are we? Is my mic still staticky? No, I think we're good. Okay. I'm guessing a zombie apocalypse is out of the question in the future. Oh, zombie apocalypse challenge. No, that sounds really fun. That's like, I, I, I grew up watching The Walking Dead and I love, I love a zombie apocalypse show or game. Like I, like I said a couple, a couple minutes ago, I was like, I just got The Last of Us part one, the game. I really want to play it. Oh, it's winter fest time. That's so cute. All right, kiddos, go to school. So we need to do a little bit of recap. If you don't know what this series is, this is the series on my channel where we play the lovely Florida here on YouTube's Sims 3 Store World Legacy Challenge. Absolutely, absolutely love this challenge. It has actually rekindled my love for the Sims 3. And I was like on a kind of like a Sims 3 slump. I wasn't really loving the game and then i took the leap and started this new challenge and i have been absolutely obsessed with playing the sims 3 recently so what we have to do is in this challenge you go through every single sims 3 store world and before you're like maddie you bought all of them no there are ways to get them check out our discord linked in the description box and uh, you can find them for it for uh, in a different in a different way that's not hundreds of dollars spent on sims 3 store worlds but every 
new generation is also accompanied by a brand new sims 3 star world so the first world we're playing in is riverview it gives you a little description of kind of the sim you're playing with also gives you an outline for your traits your lifetime wish your career and goals that you have to accomplish within that generation so it's super fun i love how it's structured and it gives you like things to work towards things to do that sort of thing that's like one of the things in my own sims games i need like structure i need something to work towards so the next town we're going to be playing and moving to in the end of the stream is going to be Barnacle Bay. So in this stream, we have to actually go ahead and master all of these. We need to have Sage reach level 10 of the Gardener crew, though we can still have her do this when we're living in Barnacle Bay. So it's not like we need to have her do it here. We can still move on to our next world because I, I don't want to get like stationary. I want to be able to kind of keep up the keep up the momentum for this challenge. I want to keep things moving rather quickly. And we have done everything on this list besides completing her aspiration and reaching level 10 in the gardener career those are two things we have not done so that brings us back to our game and here was our founder here let me i'm kind of getting a little picture of her she's our farm girl and she has had such an interesting bit of lore like I don't know her life is just it's just so interesting to me the way oh look at this this is so cute look at her looking in the distance with my reshade with the tractor in the background it's so cinematic oh my gosh she's slaying the game wait this is so pretty actually she my, my reshade is like eating right now my reshade is doing its damn thing let me just tell you anyway <clears throat> i choked on my own saliva this is my founder, Sage. She's our farm girl. She was our generation one. She was all about farming and gardening and the color green because that was like the color of her generation. I don't know. I think I'm going to give every generation its own color. So that was her color green. All of her outfits have some sort of green in them. I kind of thought, you know, since she's a gardener, she likes green and like earthy tones and, and whatever. So there is Sage. And she has had so many kids. Fart, thank you. Whoever did it, you are gassy. You need to hold in your gas while we do the intro chat. Come on, hold it, hold it together. Who was the culprit? Vanilli, of course it's you, Vanilli. What am I saying? I, I should have assumed it was you. So Sage married this guy right here who's giving us the stank face currently. This is Dallas Shallow. He was actually the third option we had. Oh, his eyes are purple. <gasps> I never noticed that has purple eyes wait what color eyes did clementine get because she's gonna be our heir i think she got sage's green eyes right yeah you can you can kind of see them they're like bright like super green vibrant green color that's so cool though that he has purple eyes that's fascinating anyway this is dallas shallow he is a male nurse i almost said a male maid no he's a male nurse he is currently level four as a medical intern and these are his skills here he's got quite an assortment of skills and he is actually an evil nurse he's a klepto he's evil he's hot-headed he's a great kisser and he's flirty kind of interesting he's an evil nurse feels like two things that shouldn't be going together but you know what what do i know about nursing right and then sage's first child was a named azure and Azure is the son of Don Lothario, and he actually bears like such a huge resemblance to his dad. This is not Dallas's son. This is Sage's son, Sage and Don Lothario's son, but he looks so much like his dad, like spitting image of his dad. Tell me he's not. Okay, tell me he's not. I originally thought Azure was going to be our heir, but I decided against it. Um, I don't know, just didn't want to. So his traits are disciplined, green thumb, irresistible, and loves the outdoors. So that is her firstborn. Also in the challenge rules, it is said that you have to have at least three kids. So that's why Sage has so many kids. And then <laughs> the half brother of Mr. Uh, Mr. Zhur is Breeze here, who's wearing his headphones. And he's got kind of a Eminem look about him. And his dad is none other than Trigger Broke, who if you recognize the last name Broke, that is a reference to the Broke family from The Sims 2. This is actually like the cousin of Skip Broke, who was Brandy Broke's husband. So a little bit of Sims lore bit there. But yeah, here's Breeze. He's got an Eminem look about him. Love it. 
And then there was a big gap between Breeze and Clementine and Clementine is actually going to be our heir. I'm super excited. Breeze's traits are clumsy, cla uh, cat person, kleptomaniac, just like his stepdad, which is interesting and ambitious. And so here is our heir, the one that we are going to be playing with in Barnacle Bay for at the end of the stream when we move there, we're gonna kind of take the reins. I think she'll be maybe a teenager or about to be a teenager by the time we get to her at the end of the stream. But um, let me eat her up so we can, we can see what she looks like. Oh, she's in her undies, oh my gosh. She's honestly very pretty, like she has a very, pretty face i know her clothing is quite tragic i'm trying to like spruce her up to see her potential because she does have potential she does her eyes are absolutely stunning i love them she's so cute she has nice features she does have nice features she looks a lot like her dad so her dad is who you saw before this is actually dallas's who is sage's husband we, we should get them married in the stream they have been engaged for like the longest time they've had all these kids together and they haven't even gotten married yet i completely forget it keeps skipping my mind i think i said i was gonna do it in spring which <laughs> there's six days till spring so that's kind of a kind of a while away i don't know if we wait that long maybe we could do like an indoor wedding or something like that but yeah that is clementine is dallas's daughter and she's going to be our heir for the next generation because we did a little poll in chat and chat thought clementine should be our heir and then the most recent born is drew here and let me show you what drew looks like and then this is sage's second child with dallas so yeah lots of lots of babies lots of children that's a, a cotton sock special he's really cute though like he's really really cute so cute there is Drew, and that was the most recent born baby. So there's a little recap. Hope that brought everyone up to speed. Let's get into playing the game now. And oh my gosh, Sage is gonna be an elder in 10 days. I can't believe it. That's so, that's so close. That's so close. It's gonna kind of throw a wrench in our plans though, because I mean, I can't grow any crops in the middle of winter, you know what I mean? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm trying to get her like aspiration done as well as get her to level 10 in the gardening career. I'm also gonna have her go and harvest the milk from the cows and grab the eggs from the chickens. She does live a very self-sufficient kind of homestead life. That's why I love this farm. This is the Grandpa's Grove lot, by the way, if you're wondering, if you're curious. This is the Grandpa's Grove lot from the Sims 3 store. It is so cute. It just fits so well with kind of the aesthetic of Riverview, which is the town we're currently playing in. Look how pretty this town is in winter. So cute. Little photo for the memories. Yeah, there is a greenhouse and I do have it, but... um. I feel it. We could, we could use the greenhouse and I probably should, you know what, just to make sure we secure Sage's lifetime wish and do all that kind of stuff. I will build a greenhouse. I was gonna be like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to use the greenhouse because then we can't use the tractor to harvest it. The tractor, by the way, is functional. You can, you can use it. And it's really cool because it harvests all the crops, it waters all the crops and it fertilizes all the crops all at once. So you just ride it around the track and it does it all. It's really great. The snow in Pleasant View reminds me of your Instagram story yesterday. Yes, it did snow in New York yesterday in the end of March, which is crazy. Like, I don't know if we've ever gotten snowfall this late ever in my whole life I've lived in New York. Wow, I just sized this this perfectly. That's crazy. I just have that Sims 3 into it. Oh, no, I didn't size it perfectly. Oopsie. Gotta push that wall in a little bit right there so it matches up there we go and we're gonna build her a little greenhouse let's see i'm gonna get the big windows what is this it has like no name or anything i can't see it because my head's in the way sorry guys sorry chat there's like an invisible window though it's so weird you know every time i'm looking for something I'm like, oh, I should get the Lazy Duchess search mod for The Sims 3. I just, I don't know why I haven't gotten it. It would be so, it would be so helpful to get it though. 
Um, this is such a perfectly, it's like perfectly sized. Man, my Sims 3 intuition is just on point. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make the windows all white. Maybe you can make a separate section for a small greenhouse with a few plants and again, the best of both worlds. Yes. I am just going to, I'm going to put, I only, I don't want to put too many plants in here. Cause then Sage is going to be taking care of them all day long. And I don't want her whole, cause she still has kids to take care of and stuff like that. But I don't want like her whole day. Cause you know, when you plant too many plants in the Sims three or in the, even in the Sims four or any Sims game for that matter, it takes them so long to harvest them all. Oh, we have a little ant farm we should get this for one of our kids when they age up maybe a little birthday gift we can get them a little ant farm maybe clementine wants an ant farm let's see where is the hydro growing station where is it where is it where is it where i can never find it i can never find it it's such a pain to go i have to like go row by row it's in here somewhere if I could find it, I'm just gonna look. Is it in hobbies? Hobbies and skills. Do, 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 do. I I know I have it because I have the roof pieces. Oh, here it is. My gosh, why is it so hard to find? There we go. Oh, it doesn't fit. Oh no, it fits. Okay, it's good. Oh no, it doesn't fit. Shoot, that looks terrible. Okay, we need to push out this wall because I can't. Oh, you can't push out the wall when there's windows on it? Oh my gosh. Sims 3, I love you, but the building was just not it yet. <laughs> the Sims was not ready for good building yet. It was not ready for the Sims 4's level of good building. Please! Flatten out the terrain, for God's sake. I just want it to be flat. We're gonna level this right here. This is gonna look so bad. Oh my God, it looks so bad. I don't even care though. We're gonna grab this wall. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Can't stand this, can't stand this. Oh, there's a squirrel. Th there's a squirrel there. That's why I can't move it. It's cause there's a little squirrel there. Look at the little, look at the little guy. You were making it so I couldn't flatten the lot, little guy. Okay, there we go. Much better. And then we'll just grab this wall, bump it over. Grab this. Then windows probably won't match up, but that's fine. They probably won't fit, I mean. Yeah, there's like a gap in between each window. I mean, that's not the worst looking greenhouse I think I've ever built. <laughs> Let's just copy that. Okay. And then I'm going to add a clear door. We'll do... Oh my gosh. I, can't, I still can't put a door there. I have to move objects on again. Yeah, I need a door. I'm going to use maybe that door... I kind of want one like this. We'll just use the base game one. We'll keep it base game friendly today. And then I'm going to move objects off again because for some reason that messed up the window. Okay. How's the roof looking? Oh God, I messed up the roof royally. Look at this. It doesn't even fit anymore. Oh no. Who knew squirrels can stop you from editing the terrain? I know. Who knew? Now the roof doesn't fit. <sighs> why Sims? This is why this is why I size it to the size of the roof first. Because <sighs> why be? No, it's too long. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to I'm trying to think what I could do here. Wait, why is this one tile not? Oh lord. Move objects on. 
I'm gonna take these windows off. Bump this wall back. Oh my god. Maddie tries to build in Sims 3 for 20 minutes and struggles. Compilation. HD. Oh god. I'm gonna have to do something different for the front. The oh, it's not gonna be centered. The door cannot be centered because it's a one tile. So I have to get a two tile. This is a pain. Simsory building is bad just to be bad, I, I swear. Okay. Gotta put the window in the back. Back on. <laughs> so sick and twisted. Okay, there's that. And then take these, delete them. We're gonna have to do something different for the front. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You can put a two tile, like a sliding glass door. That could be kind of cute. Ooh, look at this one. This one's high tech. I think like a sliding glass door would look best. Maybe like one from... That looks a little bit yeehaw, right? We're kind of... You say you're just kind of yeehaw. <laughs> What if we take this pattern from... No, that looks stupid. I was going to say, let's grab this wood pattern from this railing, but it looks like kind of beat up. Uh, Let's grab this wood here and we'll just drag it on the front door. Why do you need that thing inside though? It won't harvest things for watering. You can put... Uh, Yeah, I put that there because it auto waters, but also you can... Um, you can put fertilizer in here and compost and you'll get really high quality crops, which is what we need because for Sage's lifetime wish, she has to grow eight perfect plants. So we need the high quality fertilizer that this thing puts out when you put compost in it. There's a method to my madness, I swear. There's a reason why I'm going through all this. <laughs> Trying to do like the corner, the, the horizontal corner thing with this. This just this just so extra. I'm just being extra at this point. Trying to put all the corner pieces on there. When am I gonna play Sims 2 again? I have not decided. I'm thinking about turning it into a maybe a YouTube series instead of a stream series because I've just been like focused on playing Sims 3 lately. I don't know. I haven't um, decided. I, I'm, I'm in school, so it's a little bit tough for me to make videos right now. So streams are about as best as I can do with my with my schedule. It just, it's just so like school is just so draining. Hi, Magnoli. Magnoli Alley. I did talk about the Sims movie. I talked about it in the beginning of the stream. If you want to go back in the replay when I upload it to YouTube. No, it doesn't fit still. There's a gap. I just spent like 20 minutes on this. No, cause this is so wrong. <gasps> There's a gap still. <sighs> I swear this is last time I'm touching this. This is the last time I'm putting together a greenhouse. I can't. <laughs> I'm about to lose my shit. Can't you just center it? I'm gonna... I'm gonna do a half tile wall here. Or a uh, diagonal wall. Because I really like this roof structure. Like I, This is my fave roof for the greenhouses. Stream ends right here right now. Maddie losing it for 30 minutes because she can't build compilation. It's coming true. The stupid tree is in the way. It's not even like on my lot, so I can't even delete it to get it on my face. All right, I'm not messing with the corners again. All right, we're grabbing this one. Why are the windows so loud? That's what I want to know. Who at EA did not equalize the volume on those windows? This is why I was hesitant to make the greenhouse in the first place, because it's such a pain in the ass. Okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna put down buy debug lights on. Let's see. Let's get a big light. Save. Okay, we'll save in a sec. Oh, there's a spawner in here. That's not good. We don't want that. Let's put this spawner like over here. And then move this seed because it's like making it so I can't flatten the lot out. You have some roof pieces bef below the greenhouse. Yeah, it doesn't, that actually doesn't affect it at all. You can have the roof pieces on there and it, I mean, I probably should turn move objects off on or move objects off. Wait, why is that not working now? Can't be placed on the slope. Oh, I'm just trying to move it off for like a freaking second game. There's a way to do what is the hotkey? There's a there's a way to do half uh half floor tiles. Does anyone know in chat offhand what the, the hotkey is? Is it control? Control Oh, control F. That's it. Okay, there we go. Control F, thank you. Yes. You guys are the best. You guys are the best builders. Okay. There's the roof. Now it's all roofed. There's no corner pieces missing. So with this greenhouse, this is from the Sims store. If you don't know where this is from, this is why. Why can't it be placed on a? It's saying can't be placed on a slope. This is so weird. Whatever. I can't be arsed. I can't be arsed. I'm sorry. I can't. Oh no. Oh no. My game's frozen. Okay. Wait. I'm saving. Whoever, whoever redeemed the save, we're saving. We're using your save. <laughs> Computer science is not easy and you just take calculus. Yeah, because I commend you for taking on that challenge. Thank you. I cannot stand calculus. Ca calculus. Um, it is no, it is so it is so hard. It is so hard for me. Look at the look at the snow, the condensate. Is that condensation? I don't know. The frost? No, it's frost. Look at the frost on the greenhouse. How cute is that? I placed a ladder in the empty spot and it del and deleted it and it w wait, it worked? What? You can put a ladder in that spot? Whatever, I can't even see it, so it's not gonna bother me. Hopefully. All right, we got the greenhouse up and running. Let's do a little bit of styling on the inside. Oh, I wanted to fix this like slope here. We're gonna soften the terrain, just kind of flatten it out a little bit. And then we're gonna add some terrain paint. I love adding terrain paint in my greenhouses. Let's add like, that looks really, I don't understand why with the terrain paint, they made it like a real life. Like a, it looks like, like a, some of these look like a picture, like for the ones island from Island Paradise. Like tell me that EA did not just grab a picture off the internet of some coral on the, on the seafloor. You know what I mean? It looks like hyper realistic. It looks so bizarre. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I'm going to just put down some like that. I'm going to erase it so it's not like bleeding out of the greenhouse. Okay. I'm also going to do a little path over to the greenhouse. So let's grab more terrain paint. Let's grab, um, how should I, where should I? Let's go through, maybe like this. Yeah. Oh, cute. Wait, that's actually cute. I'm gonna put the chicken coop. Maybe move it over. Oh my God, I can't cause it's on a slope. Why does this game do this to me? This to me. This to me. Why does the game do this to me, chicken coop? I don't I hope she can use it even though it's like on a it's on a slope. I hope she can still I think she can oh my god, it's floating. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna have to level this. i I'm sorry, I have to level it. I know we just we just spent like 30 minutes in the train tools, but I, I have to. Okay, I have to level it so we can use our chicken coop. It's a must. Oh God, it's just getting worse as, a, as the time goes on. I'm placing the move objects off, by the way, so I can verify that she can use it because 
This will tell me if it's still on the oh, I'm getting frustrated. Wow, this is how is this worth 900 simoleons? That's actually crazy. I guess, it, I guess it makes it so your sim has to like never go to the grocery store. And let's just see if she can use the chicken coop if I put it here. I don't know. It looks cute right here. So I want to put it there. You know? Even if it is floating. Screw screw it. If it's floating, it's floating. You know? All right. Let's put down some windows. I hate how loud they are. It's very overstimulating when it's that loud. The windows are so loud. They put down some grass if you want to hide it. Listen, let's just not look too closely at it and then I won't notice it. <laughs> um, maybe I can put down these square, win square windows. All right. You're right. Hide what? <laughs> All right, there's our greenhouse. How cute is that? Look at that. It's coming along. This is why I don't like setting up the greenhouse because it just takes me forever oh wait you bought a real life wait did you buy a real life chicken coop vanilla that's so fascinating okay there's our greenhouse we're gonna plant our crops and stuff like that in here Ugh. got hair in my eye why is there hair in my eye ouch we're gonna have Sage come over here and we're gonna have her plant her little crops. Let's go. Get in here, Sage. We're not gonna catch a fish. Let's go and we're gonna plant. Let's just plant all these now. Oh no. Must be outside? Why though? Can this go in here? Why? Sims 3! Plant. What? I think you need to. No, we don't need a planter box because if you come over to here, these are all out on the ground. These are all out on the ground here. Mmm. Why? Don't drink that. <sighs> this is so annoying. Maybe I can just move objects. On. I know all this work for nothing. Oh, okay. Move objects on works. <laughs> Move objects on. We're gonna have to have it on permanently. I don't think there is any greenhouse windows. I think there... Uh, these ones I don't think you need. These ones are just, you know, to look, to look pretty. The walls inside are not painted. I'm gonna just grab this wallpaper and just... Put it on the inside so she doesn't have that negative mood lit. All right, there we go. She likes it. Okay, so now we can have. No, it's dormant. Why is it dormant? Maybe it'll take a second to update, right? Maybe it'll take a second to update because when I tried to plant it before, it said must be outside. Now it's saying it's dormant. Okay, let's just let's just see if it takes a second to update. For the love of God, please tell me to do all that work for nothing. <laughs> okay, well, let's go over to our canning station. I want to show this off too. Oh, look at all this bad food. I'm gonna put her eggs in the fridge. Look at her little garden. These this is stuff that she literally grew. Okay, maybe she didn't grow. I mean, she did make the cheese though. Can we give it to Sage? Like, she you can turn the oh you can't see it because my head's in the way, but. You can turn the milk into cheese by using that, the milking and coral dairy. Amazing. Um, I can't put the milk in the fridge. For, I thought I could, but I can't. Hmm. But I love how she's got like her own homestead, like her own homestead life. <laughs> the game makes me want to rage quit too sometimes. One last question about your classes. Do you still have to take co what's cobol no i don't have to take cobol what is cobol with a computer science degree no i just added the into the future rugs that make it so oh i don't have into the future enabled so that's uh why well, i can't do that oh it's an ancient program no we don't have to take that i do have to take assembly though that's kind of like an old language right isn't assembly like one of the first computer languages?
Come on. Grab the baby. Oh, someone is spreading rumors that Dallas got arrested. Who wants to tarnish Dallas's name at his work or while he's at work? Oh no, he lost like a ton of friends because of it. All right, need your daughter. Let's have you go grab some waffles for leftovers. Don't drink the milk. The other baby dad is probably, you know, you're, you're probably, you're probably right. They want to, they want to tarnish his reputation. Oh, Bo Newbie is coming home with Azure. That's cute. They are celebrities. Well, at least Dallas is. I don't even, why are you, look at her mood. She's completely fine. And she's just like, play with your doll. Jeez. Don't drink the pocket milk. I know. I need another milk. We can have her get another one and then she can turn it into cheese. Oh wait, she did drink it. It's not in here anymore. What the hell, Sage? She drank it. I think it's because she was hungry. I hate that they try and drink the milk. Okay, wait, go get another, go get another milk. If you, oh, we can't get it yet. 52 minutes, we can get more milk. We can't spam it. Our maid is done for the day. Someone is talking, I think it's Dallas, his coworker, maybe? I wish you could make waffles in The Sims 4 without a waffle maker. Wait, is that real? You can't make waffles in The Sims 4 without a waffle maker? Hi, Kia. Okay, so Azure brought home... Wait, where are... Wait, sir, where... Why are you at the gym? <laughs> Skip broke us here, but why are you at the gym? I thought you had a friend. He's so tired too. Waffles are DLC? Stop. What? EA, why? Why? I can't believe waffles are DLC. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, the shower broke. Come on, Sage. Get it together, girl. Because of money. <laughs> All right, we're gonna call repair technician. I want to use the grandma's canning station. We need three of the same items. Okay, let's go over to. Let's make um. Let's grab three Jana. grapes. Let's just grab three grapes. We're gonna make grape jelly, or grape jam. Sorry. Oh, I can't. You need. Oh, I need to put it in grandma's canning station. Okay, we're gonna put the grapes in there. We're gonna go over and make jam. Oh, I'm so. Oh. No. Oh, okay. I thought I thought she I thought it was broken because my my milking at coral dairy was broken last time. <gasps> Look at the animations. She's dropping the grapes in there to make the jam. You're joking. This is so cute. Did she just leave it? Oh, it's raising her cooking skill too. So cute. The Sims 3 store items are so so good. Okay, she let it. She let the jam cook. Uh -huh. Oh, look at it's purple because I made grapes with or made it out of grapes. <gasps> and now she has three grape jams in her inventory. Let's take a look. Look at that. They're great quality. Now, wh what do I do with them? Can she just eat them? Oh, you can eat them with sconces. Oh, my man, love. Are you hungry? No, you're not hungry. You're still at work. Okay, when Sage gets hungry again. We're gonna have her eat some sconces with the with the jam. Oh my gosh. The Sims 3 store deep fryer is so good. The DLC bacon, love it. I guess I can't rag on Sims 4 too much for having a DLC waffle maker because for Sims 3, we couldn't make bacon until you have the <laughs> deep fryer. Wait, sconces are wall lights. I meant scones. <laughs> <laughs> scones scone it looks the exact same okay to my credit it looks the exact same sconces scones literally missing a c guys okay leave me alone not even close it looks the exact same you're joking I thought we weren't gonna say anything, chat. <laughs> Why is everyone in this household? Oh, he wants to get a tattoo. Ooh, I like that idea. 
No. Oh, I thought he wanted to steal candy from a baby. I was about to lose my mind. I go take a shower, go sleep. One is a baked good and the other is electrical. I love a scone. Wait, where's our bird? Is she flying around? Is she in our inventory? Last time we lost the bird and like someone, I think someone had her. Wait, did you have her stock large birds? Where is my bird, sir? Hi, Boomsticky. Give me my bird. Give me my bird back. I can't find it. Did they run away? No. I thought maybe she was flying around. If you put them on the ledge, they're not supposed. I think she disappeared before, didn't she? And like I went into build by and then went back into the game and she was like there. Let's see if it works. No, she's still not there. What if I click large bird? Stock with large bird. They do die, but you will get a notification when they die, so. No, we can't get her back. She's busy. <laughs> our our owl or whatever she is. A, she was a six sim type of bird, right? Whatever she I think she's an owl. She's supposed to be an owl. I love a scone. They're so good. Like a warm scone. Mmm. No, we're not gonna eat at the bistro. I want someone to get hungry so I can have... Oh, that, uh, Azure is, is hungry. Okay, let's go. <gasps> the imaginary friend just jump scared me. Like jumped up out of bed. That was crazy. The baby crying is, is very annoying. Wait, they're both need attention? They do. Okay, mom and dad, time for you guys to spring into action. All right, I'm going to have Sage give her son the grape jam. And then... I don't know why he's a flower in his inventory. Okay, move out of the bedroom, please. We're gonna have him go and eat with a scone. Why can you not eat it with a scone? Do we have to buy scones? Maybe make them? Please. I think he has to make scones. Maybe we can't unless we have them. Which in that case, hey, we can make some. I think we have the ability to make some. Cupcakes, birthday cake. Uh bread. No. Where is my scones? Damn it, give me my scones. Hi Iria, Ariandra, Iriandra. I spent the whole day today watching Le the legacy of yours and playing the sims after a month of non-stop work and it was amazing thank you i'm glad i could be there to inspire you to play the sims can you eat it on bread if you make some that's a good that's a good question it might be a glitch do you get this officially or unofficially i got it unofficially i wonder if is it because we need like a certain type of stove or something. I'm confused. Or just grandma's canning station just genuinely not work. I don't know. Maybe we can have him. Let's see if we can have him make some bread. Make some white bread. Oh my God. What is the imaginary friend doing? Move out of my way. Is he like bugging? Wait, why is it bugged out? White bread. Make white bread. Oh no. What is going on? I can't. He can't use it? Okay, let's have Sage. See if she can. Don't, don't ride the tractor. You don't need to ride the tractor, Sage. Come on, get it together. What if I have her try to eat it with scones? Does it work? No, she can't do anything either. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Bread. Sourdough. Wheat bread. Try to make bread. See if she can make bread. No, she can't make bread. Hmm. Why isn't this working? 
is that the same thing that didn't work in your leprosy did it not work in my leprosy I, I recorded that so long ago i can't remember what worked and didn't work worked <laughs> work i can't remember what worked and did not work there's a model that lets you make bread out of the fridge there's a model that fixed store items i do have the fixes maybe we can just buy the scones from the deliciously indulgent bakery Damn it, I really wanted this to work. I do have store fixes, yes. Let's just purchase a group serving of... Um... Can't buy... Scones? See them, right? Oh, those are cinnamon rolls, damn it. Those are cinnamon rolls. This food is making me so hungry. I did not eat today. <laughs> Hi, small peach. Let's see feed the baby i can try to reset the you're saying reset the this item didn't sage use this like last time we played i can't remember all right try and make bread oh he doesn't have yeah cooking skill oh he needs cooking skill he has no cooking skill you don't need to, yeah it's not working unfortunately when i click on her and have her try to eat it with scones it doesn't work yeah nothing happens Ugh, that sucks i was so excited to use the canning station too damn oh the plants became undormant beautiful all right we can have her start to plant some more stuff in here i'm so sad it's not working I'm also gonna have her look for some seeds. Oh my god. <laughs> this is this lot is like this because it has like a million spawners on it, isn't it? Oh <gasps> the whole lot is shiny. Oh my god. Alright, come over here, Sage. Let's just pick up all of these. As many as we can the whole lot is this lot is really laggy because of all the seeds and stuff like that pick up the truffle pick up the seeds the seeds the sunlight pick that up too uh oh wait i'm saving i'm saving i'm saving i'm saving game i'm saving okay i'm saving i'm gonna google grandma's canning station sims 3 let's see if other people are having problems oh Oh, I see a update for it. Hold on a sec. Someone made a made an update. Uh, let's see. Fix a bug where jam slash preserves were corrupted by Sims vacationing. That's not my problem. Fix a bug where the where by the eat toast interaction was not available unless the baker station was installed. it fix any of my issues though i have the store fixes hmm i high key like want to quit out of my game quickly and i'll try and fix this if store fix the crap fixes is present in malls or packages the canning jar slot placement and rotation bug fix from this model will not work because the it's canning jar Blah, blah, blah. Installing this mod will break the custom objects it creates, such as ration jars. Oh, was it the first one? I didn't even look, sorry. Oh, I see. Fix the bug where jams and preserves are corrupted by the blah, blah, blah. Corrupted jams and preserves lost in the. Okay, I think this mod might fix it. Hi, Yasmin. Um, let me we're gonna close out of the game here quickly because there's another mod I wanted to get as well We need to get the fix for that and then Maya Linked or someone linked it. I think it was maybe as actually last stream linked me a better routing mod um, Here it is as linked it. Thank you as so here we need we need this mod too. pets need less space a routing fix We're gonna get this one too because this will help with the horse because oh thank you thank you ea for doxing me love that look at it just like why every time i close the game it just pops open my ea app thank you so much for doxing me 
All right, so we're gonna get that too. I'm gonna drag those here quickly into my mods folder. I think I put them both in my overrides folder, but I could be wrong. I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna do it just in case we don't, or in case we need to put it in the overrides folder. Hi, Yasmin. Hi, also, hi, Bella. How is everyone? Welcome in. All right, I'm dropping them in my overrides folder. Put that in there, put that in there. All right, should be good. I got both of them. So the horse routing won't be so bad now. I've been wanting to try the pets routing mod. Yes, I also have been wanting to try it out. I just forget to install these things. <clears throat> All right, back into the game we go. I'm going to run downstairs quickly and heat up the oven because I'm really hungry and I have pizza like sitting in the fridge. Margarita pizza. So good. I'm going to quickly run down to the fridge real quick when my game loads up. So I will be right back. What's the name of the greenhouse stuff? It's called the Stones Throw Greenhouse. I'm back. I have preheated my, ov my oven. My mom is going to put it in. When I am ready, when it is ready, I mean. I'm really routing issues in Island Paradise. I downloaded the fixed version of the world. I'm so happy to hear they have all the mods. Yeah, lots of mods for routing and stuff now, which is really nice. There's fixes for pets, Island Paradise. I even think there's some for elevators, like the, the late night elevators they have some mods to fix that was that a hydration sorry i don't have my headphones on hydrate <clears throat> praying to god that this fixes my grandma's canning station because it's so cute i can't find the greenhouse in the google doc if you hit control F on your keyboard, just type in greenhouse. I think it's all one word. I think they, I don't think they split it into green and house. Let me see. Yeah, I found it. It's stone. So it's number 16 on the, on that Google doc that's linked in our discord. All right, we're back. We're back with Sage, Miss Sage. We have a script error with our imaginary friend doll, of course. No, don't drink that. She's about to drink the milk. Do not drink that. Wait. Let's see if we can ever eat that sconce now. Or scone, sorry. Sage must have a counter to prepare a smothered scone. Okay, so this should work. This should work. All right. Uh, let's have her go over here. We're going to pick everything up. Grab the seeds. Oh, this is so amazing. I'm so happy that our canning station finally works. Oh, I'm so excited. I love the homestead life. The homestead life. So fun. Let's grab all these seeds because we're going to have her make a huge garden in that greenhouse. We need her to make. What do we need? Eight species of perfect plants. Also, if you pick up these sunflower shards, they get you fertilizer. So it's really nice. Do it on the venue to get the pieces to make the greenhouse. Yes. There's also Kia in that. It also will give you a public lot that looks like just like this. This is actually the lot <laughs> minus the sparkles. Ignore the sparkles, but um, it, it's this lot. It's really nice. It's a greenhouse. You can just place it down. It's just a community lot. If you don't have enough space or if your sim doesn't have enough money to build the greenhouse, you can have them just make the uh, or visit the public lot. I mean, all right, picking up all this and Greenhouse rave, I know. The sparkles are crazy. Wait, is there music playing from these flowers? I don't have my headphones on, I can't hear. No, there's no music. Oh, my game is frozen. The dreaded 4 a.m. freeze, gotta love it. Just gonna, just gonna wait patiently until my game unfreezes. Do, do, do. It's always at 4 a.m. Oh, there we go. Come on game, you can do it. Keep on chugging. Keep on chugging, Sims 3. I believe in you. Hi, E-Bean. Yeah, the long distance significant others is tough. Why is it sparkles? We have the visitor, uh, not visitor. Why did I say visitor? It's the 
What is it called? This thing right here, the collectible thingy. This one. There we go. I think the 3 a.m. slash 3 a.m. slash 4 a.m. freezes are like seeds spawning in the world. I think it's also um I think Overwatch shows it's cleaning at 3 a.m. But I think the game is set to like spawn like seeds and plants and animals and stuff at 4 a.m. I could be wrong about that. That's just my that's just my anecdotal experience with the Sims 3. Okay, we're gonna have her stop picking those up. And then let's have her go back home. Hi, Kiro. Oh my gosh, I need to turn off. <laughs> I need to turn off the collection helper. That's the name of it. Collection helper. I could not think of the word collection helper. This little butterfly thing. That's why there was all those sparkles, is because of collection helper. <clears throat> oh, the horse is here. Let's see if the routing mod works. Look at she can play with her ball now. Yay! She doesn't need as much space to route. Feel free to ask questions. I don't mind answering. Peter, the horse is here. Are we gonna plant all these? Oh, gotta turn move objects on. For some reason. Don't know why. Plant all these. We're gonna plant. <laughs> yeah, they got a horse. Oh, our chickens flew the coop. Yay. Oh, look at she can run around now. How exciting. Enjoy yourself, Mocha. Enjoy yourself. Hi, Katie. Pack to being poor. We're going to water our plants. Oh, we can identify seeds with this thing. How could I forget? Yes, so this composting machine allows you to identify seeds. Any seeds that you have in your inventory that are unknown seeds, it will tell you what they are. Let's see. She got a flame fruit and she got garlic, ghost chili. I love garlic. Garlic is like, damn, garlic is just so good. We're going to put all of our compost in there. And the compost we're using is the sunlit shards or sunlight shards that we just picked up from this public lot over here and we're gonna look at that they immediately grew and it removed all the weeds so this is such an amazing thing i love the greenhouse i made a video a while ago at this point it was like what items from the sims 3 store are actually worth it that's the name of the video you can go watch it if you want but um i think it was at the top of that list was this because i just love it so much it's so helpful it just makes everything oh she can grow corn we're definitely growing corn um she's so hungry and tired and all that so we're gonna have her go now we can try and use the scones with the jam so let's have her go we can have her eat with toast or eat with scones let's have her eat with scones let's see is it gonna work no it doesn't work eat with toast can she use it oh oh <gasps> Oh my gosh. Eat it, girl. Don't just don't just butter your freaking Wait, she can't she can't pick it up? Clean up. Wait, no, eat this. What? What? Eat the damn thing. Why is she not eating it? Also, why is the plate like detached from the f i'm so confused is it move objects is it because i have i'm so okay we're gonna we're gonna reset this or what if we move to family oh god look it's like disconnected from the actual okay this is very messed up <laughs> this is so bad this is not how this was supposed to be it's like an empty plate like what is with the toast Oh my god. Why can never why can nothing ever work for me? There's just going to be a piece of toast now. <sighs> I don't understand. I can sell the I 
can sell it. No, I can't sell it. I drag it to my inventory. It won't. It says can't delete. Oh my god, this game. This game, man. Can't delete. Gotta love it. I can't even control click it. It won't even let me. Oh my. We're just gonna have a piece of toast on our ground. That's how this is gonna be. That's how you're gonna do me, Sims 3. Fine, eat your waffles. Dude, all I want to do is just make cute little preserve jars and eat my freaking toast. Let's see if he can do it. Wait, he actually might do it. Wait, he actually might do it. Wait, he actually might do it. <gasps> He's doing it. Eat your scone with the jam. Please eat it. Yes, it worked. Okay, I think her animation just didn't play out fully. Whoever said that in chat, I think you're right. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh my god. Yeah, permanent floor toast. <laughs> that would happen to me. Like that just that just is something that would happen to me. Oh, you said it, Lord. Thank you. All right, let's have her go to the she needs to sleep like desperately. Dallas is in a terrible mood. Wait, eat oh, he can't eat before he goes to work. All right, I guess you're just gonna be hungry. All right, go to work. You need to go to school. So you can stop eating that. You go to school as well. Put a rug over it. I actually think it will clip. Oh, did the what? Why is there a giant wet spot? Oh, the dishwasher broke. Nice, nice. Love that for me. I don't know why. It's like <laughs> this is so bizarre. I can't even click on it. I can't click on it. Everyone's saying to delete it. I can't. It it literally. I guess I could just like move it out over here. <laughs> the the toast just sitting. It does get covered by the snow, so. Oh, we could radius purge it. That's 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 so true. Where'd it go? Oh god, now I've now I've, lo I've lost the toast, everyone. I've lost the plot. All right, well, it's buried by snow, so I I, I guess I really can't see it. No, I can't. I can't shift click on it at all. All right, let's see. So she's sleeping. He's out. He's in a terrible mood. I'm gonna have him talk to his friends. What are you doing? Tipping the cow? Are you stuck? He's been stuck all day? You're supposed to be at school. I had no idea that Breeze was stuck in the house, just like standing there. Okay, I'm gonna teleport. Oh, the snow's melting. How cute. Oh my god, this game stresses me out sometimes. Where is the school in this town? Right here. Okay, go here. Teleport. Go to school. And talk to friends. Sure, high five. All right, everyone should be good. Let's quickly save. We're gonna save our game. Just to make sure everything's good because we have our we got our scones up and working we got our jam up and working we got the floor toast put in the corner of the house no the snow is melting so we're about to see the 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 toast on the ground again no where is it even where did i put it oh it's right here cool uh, i'm gonna try to radius purge this because whoever said that i think it was you mutton good idea we're gonna we're gonna go one object that didn't that did not work it's like it's not even uh radius purge nine <gasps> i deleted all the trees no 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 okay good thing i just saved no 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 i deleted like all the trees like the track like it's it's as though the game isn't even recognizing it as an object in the game. I guess we're just going to use it as our monumental permanent or toast. Can you put it on? I could put it under the house. That's a good idea. I could. <laughs> I like how we're all worried about this piece of toast. <laughs> it's a monument at this point. I did have testing sheets on and I still can't click it. 
it like won't let me click it at all it's like the immortal piece of toast i can't radius purge it i can't shift click on it i can't delete it we need to bring it to barnacle bay i don't understand how i separated it from the plate i think it was because i uh move object on on it is that a is that a verb move object on it <laughs> no it won't go in anyone's inventory it won't it won't go in anyone's inventory it can't be picked up it can't like it, it just can't it can't be touched so it's just chilling you know she isn't harming anybody okay and i have her water everything or have the compost or water everything thank you thank you i'm gonna plant these as well we're gonna grow some chilies I feel like we should get like the pedestal from World Adventures and put the piece of toast on one of those pedestals to memorialize it forever. Family inventory. It won't drag in the family inventory. It can't it can't be deleted. It can't be put in the inventory. It can't nothing can be nothing can be done with it. Nothing. It's it's immortal. The piece of toast is immortal. <laughs> oh my god, these babies. Sage girl, you gotta get up real quick. You gotta feed these children, please. Clementine ages up today. She needs to learn how to talk still. gonna have her just give the baby a bottle oh is yours home oh no don't don't do that why don't you actually go and teach your no stop Bri oh my gosh okay fine fine you know what take care take care of your little brother fine fine i'm just gonna go use the composter don't mind me at least they're teenagers now so like i can leave them alone with the kids and the game won't yell at me all right, you go teach your sister how to talk. You, what are you doing with that baby? Go change his diaper. And feed the baby. The true there. Go do the laundry, please. And... Sounds good. Oh, my food is here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. On food food break. We have pizza, margarita pizza, and an avocado egg roll. Oh my gosh. I'm about to go to town. Is it rude to eat in front of you guys? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I gotta put my hair back. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna put my keyboard over here and I'm gonna be a mouse only gamer for a couple minutes. A mouse only gamer. Well, I eat my pizza. Mmm. Pizza time. Mmm. Whenever they try to tip the cow, it like bugs out the game to the point that I have to reset them. Why is that? Why? <laughs> I usually get annoyed, but since it's you, Maddie, you enjoy that pizza? Thank you. I'm glad I'm your exception. 
Yeah, pizza's a DLC in Sims 3 as well. Oh my god. Why is like the cow stuff breaking again? The cow stuff is broken. Oh yeah, you can order pizza, but you can't make it unless you have the DLC. Stop trying to tip the cow! Stop! Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. Reset Sim. Stop tipping the cow, Sage. Okay, go. You know what? Go eat a smother scone, for God's sake. Leave me alone. Joe's about to teach his sister to talk. Yay! Okay, that's good. He's, he wants to go to prom again. Didn't he already go to prom? Pretty sure he did. Um, okay. Okay. Why are you talking to him? He's doing his homework. Let him do his homework. <laughs> Sage, I'm about to I'm about to throw hands with you. Why is there trash right there? Who put trash there? Where did that trash come from? Hi, Christopher. How are you? This pizza? This is the best pizza I've ever had. It's a local, like, restaurant where I am. And they don't even... The pizza, like, isn't even their main thing. But it's stone fired. I love stone fired pizza. So good. So, so good. We're not on Barnacle Bay yet. Mm -mm. I'm just playing with the mouse. It feels very weird. But Sims 3 is a game you can play with just your mouse, honestly. You don't really need a keyboard. I guess to move, like, with WASD you can, but... Oh! No! It's Clem's birthday and I forgot! No! Oh my god, Mocha! Mocha needs to be taken care of! My god! She's about to get taken away! And it's Clem's birth. There's so much going on. There's so much going on. Okay. So, let's look at the challenge rules. Let's see. What trait does she need to have? Um... Angle or slop, commitment issues, good sense of humor. Let's give her good sense of humor right now. There we go. <clears throat> How do you get your Simster game to fit perfectly on Streamlabs? You can right click on it when you're streaming and you can hit like it says scale to window. Boston was great. I had a lot of fun. I saw my brother. Got some good food. It was also St. Patrick's weekend, so it was absolutely crazy. Like, so many people, chaotic, but it was fun. Oh my god. Please take care. Oh my god. Wait, it's Azure's birthday? I have no idea, Sage! 
Grace, come on! You're firstborn! He's aging up! Oh, she's not even here. And now he's got the inappropriate trait. Oh my god. And he's cross eyed. Um, let's just make him, I don't know, uh, martial arts, sure. Oh my god. I had no idea that it was his birthday, that's so sad. So, I think our imaginary friend will like, die now, right? No more imaginary friend doll for us. Wait, how do we still have an imaginary friend doll? How is he still alive? I thought it was spo- I was gonna say. Wait, Patch's household has too many sims for her to- Wait, Patch's is a girl? It has the male voice. The imaginary friend doll has the male voice. I thought imaginary friend dolls disappear when the sim- Wait, why is no one taking care of this poor horse? Okay, Clementine. They're gonna have to come in clutch here and take care of this poor, poor baby. I feel so bad for this horse. Sage is like not even here for her kid's birthday. She's sleeping on a couch. It's just- Sage is a mess, okay? Go sleep, Sage. Wait, Dallas is stuck- Something with this, with this, um, cow thing. When we, whoa, when we installed those mods, it's like breaking the cow milking and coral dairy. Why though? Oh God. I had to click escape on my keyboard, which is like a mile away from me. Cause the milking and coral dairy <clears throat> was working fine, but now it's like, absolutely broken what is going on i'm gonna try to replace the object actually let's try to reset it first no literally everything is breaking i don't know what it is all right reset did that fix it it fixed it okay Cool. I love that I don't, I don't have to search through my catalog again. So, so, so weird. Um, Debbie, that is a mod. It is actually a new mod by a creator named Boring Bones. <clears throat> okay. The uh, cow has been milked. Oh my gosh, look at the little squirrel playing with the chipmunk over here. I love how they wobble, it's so cute. Oh. Dallas's ass is in my face. Look at you eating dirty food for your birthday. That's so sad. Celeste disappeared on us. I don't know where she went. I'm also going to save my game. I'm getting freaked out. Whenever I get little lag spikes. Uh-uh. A save has to be done. <clears throat> yeah, Celeste disappeared on us for like the second time. I think she did the same thing last stream. What if I tried to reset it? Let's see if maybe I reset it. Maybe she'll magically come back. No, she's gone. She's gone, everyone. I'm so sorry. Celeste is the little owl that we had as a pet. We'll have to get Celeste 2.0. Why does Sage want to join the education career? No. Okay, where is Clem gonna sleep? Um, should we kick out Azure? 
Let's kick him out. I'm sorry. It has to be done though. We need we need the space, you know? We're gonna kick him out. We're gonna kick him out and then have your fun. He has zero simoleons to his name. Uh, do you wish to place them? Yes. Azure will probably come with us to Barnacle Bay. Keep him as a farmhand. I could have. I should have done that. Hopefully, Sword Progression does something fun with him. I would like to see him get with Jenny Rogue. That would be so cute. <gasps> Wait. Sage isn't even friends with Azure? Oh my god, and she wants to enroll Clementine at school. Or at Peace and Love School. That's so bad. I know, she's not even friends with him. I mean, to be fair, the babysitter kind of raised him, so like, I'm not surprised. <laughs> That's why she kicked him out, yeah. Listen, she has her favorite and we have our favorite. And I think they align pretty closely. Clementine is our favorite. I think Clementine is also Sage's favorite. Yeah, Sage was not always the perfect mom, okay. Christopher says Azure is kind of my fave. <clears throat> For sure, not the M&M dude. <laughs> I'm this local restaurant I went to last night and that I'm eating leftovers from, it's my favorite. I've never found a restaurant that even compares with this local place. So, so, so good. Okay, wait, you're sleeping in the wrong bed now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We needed to do a little switcheroo here because you're going to sleep in Azure's old room. You're going to sleep in this room. And all this is uh, temporary, by the way, because we're moving to Barnacle Bay at the end of the stream anyway. So I have, I have an hour, exactly, almost an, an hour, less than an hour to speed run Sage's lifetime wish because you're su not supposed to move on to the next generation until you finish the current generation's challenge and we have not even gotten close to that. Okay, I'm eating my last slice of pizza. It looks so sad, but trust, it's margarita pizza, so good. Sage's other son reminds me of Carl Gallagher. <laughs> no, I see it, I see it. White boy Carl. Not the Sims looking pizza, no. It's so like pointy, right? It's like so, oh my God, they're sleeping in the same room as the fire. That's so cozy. I don't know if you leave that on when you sleep though, unless it's like electric. I don't, I don't think I'd trust that. Cause I'll wake up and then I'll be like hanging halfway off the bed and my hand will accidentally touch the fire. Mm. Not them sleeping with the fire. I just know they're sweating. Oh, that's the worst when you're sleepy and you're sweating. I'm a sleep sweater. I am. I sleep when I sweat. Or I sweat when I... S <laughs> I, I, I sweat when I sleep. <laughs> I sleep when I sweat. Yeah. English. Yeah, I sleep when I sweat. Same difference. You guys, you guys got it. My sons get my sons get sweaty when he sleeps and he just sticks to me. Ugh. I have to turn my thermostat down to 68 when I sleep. My boyfriend, he has to have a fan put on him when he sleeps. Otherwise, he sweats really bad. Malachi, you can sleep you can you can talk about this if you want. You can elaborate. Mal has to have a fan. 
pointed directly at him. No. I understand having a fan on when you sleep. I get it. I do. But having it pointed on you is a totally different thing. All right, Sage. We're gonna, oh shoot. I think the sun, the sunflowers, don't they like decay over time? We need to go and use these. Put all of them in there. We can't use the con- Oh, she's too hungry. Okay, go eat some scones. I hate having a fan pointed directly on me as I'm sleeping. It's terrible. Terrible. Makes me so dry. My face gets dry. My nose gets dry. Oh, it's terrible. But my boyfriend needs a fan pointed directly on him. Hmm, that looks so good. A little bit of whipped cream on it. Oh my God. Look how good that looks. Oh, she just snatched it right up. <clears throat> I disagree, Katie. I don't like having a fan on me when I'm, um, Awake is fine. When I'm sleeping, no. Mm -mm. Not when I'm sleeping. Oh, look at her reading a little book. Okay. Oh, a money tree grew. That's nice. Okay, go water the plants. Go use the composter. Oh. The jam gives you a, such a cute moodlet. I must call it an emote, not an emote, a moodlet. Have her identify your seeds and then, um, I think we can harvest these, right? Let's harvest all of them. She's gonna get money too from our money tree. That's fun. Nice. wishes to plant and grow eight different species of perfect plant which i don't think she has yet because we need to be more consistent with using the fertilizer machine I've only got two out of eight. I feel like the sunlight shards are gonna be what is like saving us from this. I'm just, can I just keep using this? I wonder, can I just pump all these in? Oh, I can, I can just spam it. It'll make all of them grow. Oh, that's such an oversight. EA did not mean for that to work like that, but you know what? I'm gonna, ab I'm gonna abuse this, this oversight cause It makes the plants grow instantly. We have some bills. Dallas is going to work. Breeze is going to school. Clementine is going to school. We didn't even look at her outfit. Mm -hmm. 
the plants actually die in the sims 3 after you get a couple of harvests out of them so you can't like go on and on and on and harvest them forever it's pretty cool actually because i think plants are like that in real life right you can't just grow like seeds from or you can't grow a plant from like one seed and just keep growing it and keep growing and keep growing i think after a while they they do die some plants yeah <clears throat> um spamming the fertilizer is what makes them grow faster spamming the watering with the with the greenhouse doesn't do anything it's just the fertilizer Ooh, a raspberry bush. I would love that. Yes, the composting machine comes with the Sims 3 store set. It's called the Stone Store Greenhouse. So I'm like trying to get off camera so you guys don't have to see the food in my mouth when I'm talking. <laughs> I know that some people have that pet peeve. They don't like to hear like chewing noises or see food when people are talking. I'm sorry. Oh, the squirrel got loose because I didn't put it. I didn't put it in a cage. Oh, well. Okay. So, oh, the chipmunk got loose too. All right, Sage, go and take care of your son, please. How is this kid still a baby? I feel like he's been a baby forever. Like, he's been a baby this whole stream. I only have my babies on three days and he's like... Still a baby. That's crazy. All right, Sage, you need to keep, uh, we're gonna, hmm. I'm gonna actually have her grab Drew and we need to run over to the greenhouse. Yeah, I think his birthday is today. Yes. Oh no, his birthday's tomorrow. How has he been a bit? There's no way we've only played two days on stream. On this two hour stream, we've only played two days. That can't be right. That cannot be. There's no way that that's right. Yes, I do chew with my mouth closed. <laughs> you know what I do, though? When I have a fork? When I bite my teeth? When I take it out of my mouth, the fork, my teeth scratch the fork. My mom says it drives her nuts when I do that. Wait. If I put a minor pet in the horse's inventory, it doesn't get lost? Did I just see that right, Mel? Freezing cold winter walk. Lovely. Very Norwegian. No, literally. I'm pretty sure in Norway, don't the don't they put babies like out in the cold to build their immune system or something? Or like Denmark or something? Somewhere over there. The baby's getting watered, yeah. It's in Iceland. It's just so safe there that they leave the babies outside. That's pretty cool. I wonder what living in a country like that is like. Oh. 
Katie. Katie, I know you followed me on Instagram. I guess you didn't see my story yesterday, but I posted, um, we got a blizzard in New York yesterday. It's end of March. Okay. I said in the beginning of stream, I think this is the latest it has ever snowed in New York. Wow, this is a beautiful cat. Look at this beautiful cat. Got like a cheetah print. The Sims 3 store content is in the Sims 3 channel and then go to the CC and mods and then go up to the pins in the top right and scroll down all the way to the bottom of the list and there'll be the Google Doc. Yes, the stream tag is really pop. I'm girly pop. How does she only have two perfect plants? I'm so confused. Also, why can't I grab these? Hello? I can't grab these sunlight sunlight shards. I think it's because the snow is like blocking it. Yes, we are girly pop here. Very girly pop. Okay, grab your bow. Oh! This woman just came over and snatched my baby. Oh! She just clapped with the baby in her hand. Um. Hmm. That was horrifying to see. I did leave the baby on the floor, but like, she doesn't have to clap her hands with my baby, you know? That's the sound I imagine the baby making. Oof. Wants to skate on a pond with this girl. Wait, what's this? Did we check his sexuality? I don't think we did. Did we? Um. He's got a two for male. And a negative one for female. Breeze is gay. So. I guess he wants to... Skate platonically on a pond with Shalanda. Now we have to find... <clears throat> I mean... I haven't been paying much attention to my teenagers, to be fair. His girl bestie. He does like Steven Lobos, though. Okay, wait, put the baby in there. And then... Actually, I'm gonna have you put him in the other crib. How about that? Put him in there. We need to, like, speed run. No! Put him in the crib! Girl. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw hands with this, this woman. Please. Please put him in the crib for the love of... <gasps> Why is this game doing this to me? Okay. Okay, Sage. Okay. Reset. There we go. Okay, that was so weird. I do not have the Growing Pains mod, no. I did- I did see it though. I'm interested. They're just making me rage like really bad. Um, 
Um, let's make some more jam, shall we? Actually, let's make preserves this time. I want to see what the difference is between preserves and jam. Does anyone know? Oh, you can make rations too. That's sick. Oh, look at her little gardening outfit. I also saw the... There's a weight gain after pregnancy mod, which is really cool. That would be cool to have. We can preserves and rations with us to the war. Sliding side cribs are banned from production in the US. Wait, is that real? I finished my food, by the way. Thank you guys for letting me eat my dinner on stream. I appreciate it. <clears throat> I was starving. I had to eat some. Now I'm fueled up and ready to conquer the day. <clears throat> Good night, Mutton. Preserves keep the food from spoiling. Oh, kids' arms are getting hurt from the sliding, from the sliding cribs. <clears throat> okay, hold on a sec. Let's see what the let's see what the preserves are. No, don't eat leftovers. We're gonna have you eat your preserves. Oh, li wait, licorice? Did she make this? Wait, where did the licorice come from? Hold on, hold on. I feel like I missed a. I feel like I missed a a, a page here. Where did she get licorice from? Hold on, I want to make jam. I guess the preserves, she can open the jar. I don't know what she does with them. Can I mix? Well, can I mix fruits together? Like I can put flame fruit. Cannot be used for this. Oh, okay. Guess not. Because like, can I make lime jam? Oh, marmalade. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Preserves are more for pancakes. Okay, she's gonna make some lime marmalade and then put it on her toast. Why are you drinking that milk? No, you're supposed to turn that into cheese. And why are you telling ghost stories in here? The hat is, the hat and hair are from Mary Jane on Tumblr. Okay, let's have her go eat some lime marmalade with some with some scones. Oh my gosh, look at this cute emoji or moodlet. Little icon jamming. Just having a good time making jam. I high key wanna make jam now. Making jam stream win. <clears throat> I don't know the difference between jam and jelly. I don't. What is the difference? What? Girl, what? Uh, use composter. Do you think Breeze is going through an internalized homophobia phase? He could be the gay Eminem. What's up? What's wrong with that? That's the vibe he- that's the vibe he's giving. Let's see, put more of these. Oh, I can like expedite this process. I love this. I guess, but why is he built like that? Jelly is meant to be clear of all fruit bits. Jam had fruit skins and seeds. Ugh. I don't like the seeds in, in, in the jam. I love jam and I love like a piece of toast with like orange jam. I guess that's marmalade, right? It's probably marmalade. Be nice to Carl. Yeah, be nice to Carl. <laughs> Mr. Carl Gallagher. Breeze Gallagher. All right, go pee. Please go pee, Sage. How does she only have two out of eight? Plant and grow eight different species of perfect plant. What is a species? 
what is this what is a species of plant does that mean like like one 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 vegetable one fruit one um i don't i don't know like one herb i don't understand what is what is what is the difference in like in like species because this is per why you keep sage keeps like interrupting me when i try to go and tell her to do something she keeps interrupting it it sounds like one of every type of plant that's what i thought too that's what i thought too but how do i look that up like how do i track that let's see i'm gonna look in the gardening thing here <sighs> this is so annoying it's every type of plant so like watermelon and apple count as two So what are the other ones though? Like fruit, veggies, spices, etc. I don't know if I don't know how it works in The Sims 3 though. That's what I thought. So I have to go. Oh my god, not the the clothes are gonna be they're gonna wake up and the clothes are gonna be frozen. Does that include herbs for man? That's what I thought. Any plant would count. With the supernatural expansion. I don't know, man. I'm just so confused. I need to also keep an eye on. Is it 4 a.m.? Is that what my game's freezing? Yes, it is. Um, I need to also keep an eye on this. Because we're supposed to be having Clementine work on this right now. We're supposed to have her master fishing or try to have her work on fishing. And I guess the rest of this stuff we can do when she gets a little bit older, but yeah, we need to keep an eye on like what we're supposed to be having Clementine do. Does that mean base game plans? Maybe that's the only reason why. Oh, you might be right. You might be right, Jenna. They might have not updated that lifetime wish to work with the expansion pack plants. Ooh, that's going to be difficult because I don't know what came from the base game of Sims 3 and what's from an expansion because it's all mingled together at this point. Like all my stuff is just mixed in like does is garlic in Sims 3 base game? I don't know. Is chili? I don't think chili's in Sims 3 base game, but I don't know. I have no idea. And so this is going to make it difficult if I plant a plant in this greenhouse and it doesn't count towards it. It's going to be like a waste of time. It came in the collection journal. You can see within the pack. Oh, does it come in there? Uh, you mean the skill journal? It works with eight different kinds of plants. Any plants that are different. Just remove all expansions. Yeah. And like half of my... Half of my content will be gone. Collection, where's the collection journal? Am I just stupid? Oh, right here. Sorry, I'm stupid. Um, all right, let's see. Plants. So if we sort this by base game. Okay, cucumber comes in the base game. So that's what, a veggie? That's a veggie. Uh onion is a veggie oh god orange is a tree is a tree right the oranges grow on trees yeah potatoes grow in the ground so those are three different kinds right there mm, but there's not even eight different kinds of eight different i mean I, i'm i'm getting stressed out i don't know oh you might be right space apples i don't know why it's showing up in under base game maybe that's how the store content presents if it comes with a if it comes with a store content piece it just shows up under base game i i, I don't know also he's not even baking a cinnamon roll <gasps> why is the back door open the back door is like open it's like two degrees outside game please close the damn door it's any plant but maybe it has to be yeah it, it definitely has to be perfect quality so how do we like how would we go about doing that i'm thinking too much about this the plants cannot be duplicate to the same plant i know two lime plants okay uh lord said that 
garlic is a really good fertilizer so should we try that i guess maybe the sun rays are the best kind they're probably the best oh it's finally drew's birthday my lord this child has been a baby this whole stream i can't believe we've only played like three sim days mandrake is the best oh is it man i don't know chat do some research for me what is the best fertilizer oh by the dancing i could just yeah what am i saying i don't have to keep going over this lot we can just buy them ourselves we can just buy the dancing flowers and we'll get a ton of sun we'll get a ton of sunbeams all right nothing beats the rays trust all right I trust you, Patrika. I trust you. I trust. Oh, she got the cute little moodlet, just like mom used to make. That's so cute. All right, sir. Why is that back door keep staying open? I don't understand. And also, why can't I have him go on the bus? Oh my gosh. Oh, he doesn't have school. What? Why doesn't he have school? What? She doesn't have- Oh, it's because it's leisure day. Wait, it's leisure day. You don't have to go to school. And you don't have to go to work, sir. It's leisure day. It's also baby age up day. Yay, finally. All right, how's our horsey doing? Look at her. Look at her living her best life. Let's see if we can have Clementine take care of the horse a little bit. We also never gave her a makeover. I kind of like her outfit, though. It's very, like, it's with the farm vibe. It fits with the farming vibe. She's so cute. Like, what a cute kid, really. Um, I'm gonna give her a hat. Should we give her a hat? Let's see what her favorite color. She likes red, so we'll make her give her like a red look. This is one of the only Sims 3 store hairs I really like because the hat is just too cute. It's just so cute kind of it's kind of a bright red color i'm gonna actually i'm gonna give it like a geometric pattern should we do like a checkerboard Ooh, the flannel or you do like a polka dot like a mini mouse type situation mini mouse change your eyebrows her cap reminds me of Clementine in The Walking Dead. No, it does. It does. That's such a good point. Is this Lucy Burbs outfit from The Sims 2? Pretty sure it is. I kind of like it though. It's cute. Oh, Jean. We're gonna give her. We're gonna give her a Jean dress jean dress that's hard to say fast jean dress jean dress here are some little vans you can tell my style just like comes through on all my sims clothing and i'm actually giving her a makeover because i care about her i'm gonna roll in chat for glasses i never do this anymore but if it's 50 or above i give her glasses <gasps> she gets glasses. We rolled a 77. I just realized you can't see on the stream. It doesn't show the chat, the nightbot messages. Um, well, that sucks. Just chat can verify. I rolled a 77, right, guys? <laughs> we got some socks, and then we'll also put some glasses on her, too. Cute. Look at her little outfit. Look at her these. These are cute. Oh, these ones are interesting. All right, there are her glasses. I'm gonna change her earrings. Let's cover her blue earrings to match her dress. There we go. Cute. All right, so there's our little Clementine. I love that name. I can only see some people's message on the chat roll here. This cowgirl hat, y'all. So how to get contacts become a pirate, true. Her parents are also gonna be getting married, so I do wanna give her a formal attire. Just 
give her something nice. Let's give her like this dress. Oh, her favorite color is red. I'm trying to incorporate that into all her outfits. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a nightgown, this dress right here. I think that's, I think it comes with like a Sims 3, um, Sims 3 sleep set for children, which is my favorite set for children from the Sims 3 store. It's so cute. I forget what it's called. To give her this nightgown super cute and i'm trying not to i'm not gonna redo her bedroom yet because we're moving to barnacle bay like very shortly so i don't want to go and do like a whole room renovation when we're gonna be moving at the end of this stream so that's why i'm refraining from doing the room renovation if you're wondering why i didn't touch her room because her room's like Literally what her brother Breeze had. It's like all red. Just make this darker. Okay. All right. So there's her outerwear. The nightgown is so cute. I I, I don't know the Sims Restore style off the top of my head that it's from. But I use the, the sleepwear set all the time for my children. Like it comes with all these. Look at all these options. Comes with all these ones you see here. So many. <clears throat> oh, we gotta save our game. Is that Wing's hair? For some reason, it won't work in my game. I've never had a problem with putting hair in my game. That's odd. I did not see new Lana merch. I know that she's coming out with a country album. I saw that, which is really interesting. I forgot her glasses for her other outfits. No, whatever. She she can't sleep with glasses on anyway. Wait, Katie, you can't see no drama mama? Their messages? Hmm. Except for the on stream itself. That's so weird. Oh, is it because they're in the YouTube chat? Is that why Katie? Yes, that's why. It's because they're in the YouTube chat. That's why. They're not on Twitch. <clears throat> We're gonna talk to the horsey a little bit. Look at her living her best life. That, that mod is so helpful. I think it was Ez. I don't know if you're here, Ez. But you were telling me about the, the less room for routing mod that horses take. Oh my gosh, it is such a game changer. Like, she doesn't have to move now to get to the horse. So good. What a game changer, really. Okay, she wants to celebrate her, her leisure day. So we'll have her go and make a, a snow angel. Look at her. She's in her little jean dress <laughs> making a snow angel. How cute. Oh my gosh. This is like the content that I was missing with Sage because we obviously didn't get to play her when she was like a kid. So now we can play Clementine. I need to remove the plum bob. The plum bob is like in the way. Look at her living her best life. Oh. So cute. She's loving, she's loving her little snow day. I'm trying to get a picture of her on the farm. How nice it must be to grow up on like a huge farm like this. Like just this like stunning farm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss the farmhouse. Even though we didn't live here for very long and it did cause me a lot of problems. Aesthetically, it's just like so peaceful and comforting to live on a farm. Loves it. Ride a horse bare back? Ouch. Why does this back door keep popping open? I don't understand. Do you know where I can get all the info on Sims 2 and Sims 3 fixes to play on Windows 11? I'm playing on Windows 11. All the fixes that are for Windows 10, at least my my fix guides, they work on Windows 11 as well. So you don't, you don't have to do anything different. Just follow the same exact fix guide. And... Um, yeah. 
Okay, let's have her grab... Do we have any sun shards yet? No, we don't. Oh, we can cash in our money plants. Or our money tree things. I don't know. I refuse to upgrade. I love Windows 11 for the simple. I'm going to show you why I love Windows 11. All right, ready? This is, it's so stupid. It really is so stupid. Why I love it is because all of my icons on the bottom of my screen are centered. That's the reason why I love it. That's it. That's the only thing. <laughs> it's so stupid, but it's like aesthetically, it looks so nice. You can change it, Maddie. No, I like it. I like the centeredness. It's like a Mac. Uh, let's see. Where are the eggs I just harvested? Here we go. We're going to feed our chickens. We're going to have sage go and compost. Someone said mandrake root is the best. It was, was it you, Katie, that said that? I don't have any sun shards right now, so I almost put, I almost put her freaking greeting card photo in there <laughs> we're gonna use the compost there and harvest i also do not mind windows 11. <laughs> what store content comes with the farm animals milking a coral dairy and what is the chicken one from the farm fresh folk set i do believe hi annie you're new to twitch but i've watched you on your youtube channel before welcome Welcome in. Also, good night, Patrika. Thank you for popping by. Oh, we got our first sun shard. Let's go. I think they're just sunlight shards. They're not sun shards, Maddie. Just sunlight shards. All right, let's see how fast in the next 10 minutes we can play. Nope, you're not going to make a blue blueberry pie. You're not doing that, Sage. You may be the only Linux person here, Annie. That's true. I don't know the first thing about Linux. Look at Mally. Mally's here, right on cue with the SpongeBob's. We don't expect anything different from Mal. All right, she's gonna she's gonna put some lime marmalade on her piece of toast. Hydration check. Ah, yeah, Mal. Tell them about your fan. How you have to have a fan on you at all times when you sleep. You know, in his bedroom, he has a ceiling fan on and he has a sitting fan pointed right on him. Like that is too much, too much, Mal. Yeah, he has to have a fan on full blast on him. Like I'm over here suffering, shivering, and he's just loving his, his fan. The ceiling fan and with the other no he has both yeah ha he has to have both on if he doesn't he's like sweating apparently because sweating whilst i sleep is fun <laughs> the jam and scones is from a mod uh it's called the overhauled grandma's canning station but it's from the canning station from the sims store okay let's have you come over here and can we harvest i'm like anxiously awaiting her to harvest the rest of these we need more sunlight shard i'm gonna buy another one of these then maybe if i put them outside it would be better because we'll have more space oh god your chat was bugged oh the snow's melting again I think the seasons are so long. Three days till spring? How is that possible? Y'all, I don't think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna have to hold off on Barnacle Bay. I know you guys, I know you guys are are so sad, right, chat? But we're gonna have to wait on Barnacle Bay because I know you guys love Barnacle Bay, right? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. We might we might have to put Barnacle Bay off till next stream because we're not gonna have enough time. Like this, just the timing is, I, I dicked around too much in this stream. I wasn't I wasn't on top of my stuff. And we also have like a thousand million glitches. 
So like I couldn't play all the way through. I had to like be interrupted, you know. Half half my fault, half the Sims 3's nature. She just got invited to a party by Trigger Broke. Hello? Wow. Move when Clem isn't young at all. I am a, that could be I feel like Oh, they're gonna woohoo. Oh, okay. Hmm. Little leisure day woohoo. I did save clean a while ago, but it has been a minute. Oh, look at them hanging out. Hold on a sec. Let's get a picture. Gotta, gotta get a picture. Also, uh, I wanted to use... There's a Sims 3 family tree app. I forgot what it's called. Hold on. Let me look it up. Sims. The Sims tree. The Sims tree. This is not sponsored, but they did provide me with a free code of how to get, uh, of getting a premium. Um, so we could basically like do a whole dynasty for Sage. Like I could, I could set this up and you guys could, pr I think you guys can, I can send you the link and you guys can look at this. So we're gonna, I'm gonna set this up off stream, but we're definitely gonna use this. They brought it me with the free code. So thank you, Sims Tree team. If you're watching this, no way they're gonna woohoo. She's like almost ancient. Family trees do save, De well, they, they it depends on how you move. If you move via Enroll Supporter, nothing will save across the family members you don't take. Oh, the baby's about to age up, isn't he? Yeah, he's Carl Gallagher. <laughs> oh, I guess you guys aren't, why are you woohooing on Breeze's bed? Oh God, why did they do that? I don't know why they like going to that bed so much. Okay, Drew is being brought outside. I guess he's gonna be shipped off. Where the hell are you taking him? Why are you taking him all the way over here? What is going on? Breeze! Wait, wait, Breeze is actually trying to ship his little brother off? Okay. So weird. So weird. I don't yeah he's like let me grab my baby again wait why are you over here now <laughs> breeze found wayfair <laughs> okay here's drew little baby drew see drew be a genius wow he's got high expectations can you grab your little brother please and bring him inside because i don't know why you brought him there i have no idea bring him back home for the love of God. Put him down over here. They also canceled their woohoo. That's good for me. Happy birthday. I'm abandoning you at the park. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna <clears throat> see if we can't get more little sun little sunshines. We get more sunshines to put in here. I'm gonna use the composter. It's gonna water our plants. Pick up the sun shards. So let's see if we can get any more perfect plants. Let's harvest everything. Oh, she's just getting casually naked. Okay. I don't know why she felt the need to switch into her underwear. I have no idea. Where's your little brother? Where did you put him? Okay, you put him in the house. That's okay. As long as he's like not on the side of the road again. Why? Now, why are you over on that lot? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, some of our plants died because I guess... Plants don't live forever. I'm gonna plant this licorice. Let's plant the ghost chilies. Uh, corn. Basically, anything we grow just has to be perfect quality. And it will satisfy her lifetime wish. She's only got two. Like, how is... How are we... I don't understand how we don't have perfect, a perfect garden yet. She wants to feel the wind fully so she can connect to the earth. <laughs> Guess we'll plant some bell peppers. Plant Kona bean, whatever that is. I don't know. What is a Kona bean? Does anyone in chat know what a Kona bean is? You guys always know. You guys, if I ask you a question, someone will always have an answer for me. Cheeks out and everything, literally. <laughs> 
Coffee? Oh, is that coffee? Kona beans are coffee beans? Wow. You learn, you learn something new every day. Kona is coffee? What type of coffee? Oh. The more you know. Let's see if we can potty train Drew. You make me want to stream again, but my PC cannot handle it. <laughs> oh, Hawaiian, Hawaiian coffee beans or Kona beans. I know we have a Hawaiian viewer. Maya, I don't know if Maya's still here. Maya is from Hawaii and makes me jealous every time that they talk about being in Hawaii. Do you have a spare room I can stay in, Maya, if you're still here? <laughs> All right, let's go take a shower. Come on, Sage. I really like the hover bed because it's so fast to get them to sleep. They sleep like in no time. And technically, I know my Sims didn't buy this bed, but it's fine. I, I earned it on one of my playthroughs with one of my families. Jamie, Jolina, or Aisha Ansari. Mm. Honestly, Jamie, Jolina with a makeover is downright stunning. Although Aisha is very pretty as well. Coffee also gives me heart palpitations sometimes. If I drink like a lot of coffee in one day, I do get pretty bad heart palpitations, but... Kylie from Legacy might be the prettiest sim I think we've ever had. I'm gonna put a bet on that. Um, I should just make like, wait, I don't, okay, let's see what a preserves jar does. Okay, wait, you open the preserves jar. You have work in like an hour or right now, actually. What is opening a preserves jar? Oh, it just keeps it. Someone said that, that it just keeps it fresh for a long time. Okay, I don't, I don't care about that. All right, go to work. Go to school, go to school. Everyone's going to work in school. Uh, get, get out of my hair, please. I just like to send them away sometimes. That's why I'm a little worried with some of the new life simulation games. They are all live jobs. You know what I mean by that? There's no like sending your sim into a rabbit hole with all these new life simulation games that are coming out. And that worries me because sometimes I just like to send my sim to a rabbit hole and like not have to micromanage them for like five minutes you know what i mean so some of the new life sims that are coming out like um life by you i know Inzoi when i play tested it the jobs were all live jobs i think it's really cool being able to play your character at like work or school like don't get me wrong but sometimes i just want to send them i just want to send them away sometimes like i don't want to always have to micromanage all, all the time Having it optional would be pretty cool. I've been playing Sims 3 a bunch and low key. I very rarely miss just being able to take one Sim to the park and ignore the rest of the family needs. Rabbit holes, like I like in Sims 3, there's a there's live jobs and then there's jobs that you can just go in like a rabbit hole. I like that there's a choice. I like the choice. I do. I also like in The Sims 3 that there are, like, I think Dallas just got one where he's in the medical field, which is a rabbit hole job. Yeah, he just got one. But he can go to this lot over here and attend outreach program. You know what I mean? So let's have him do that right now. I know that in the medical career in The Sims 3 too, there will be sometimes like live vaccinations that your Sim has to do at a public lot. So pretty cool look at jenny broke she's so pretty she aged up she needs a new hair for the love of god why is she getting this sims Street university hair <laughs> oh my gosh ambitions was amazing oh my god look how stunning she is the fact that she got generated to look like this though like this is not me making a sim and 
putting the this hair in or putting her face together this is like what she was born with so cute i'm trying to give her a hair that suits her like this is so cute i think she does have purple eyes a lot of sims in this town have purple eyes oh speaking of which we should check on azure because azure was like kind of romancing her so randomly generated sims look good yeah they do no i, I changed i changed her makeup don't get it twisted but her face is long like her facial features um all right dallas is tasked with holding a seminar on the need for proper medical attentiveness both on and off the job it's time to educate all those eager young employees about their health benefits so now he gets to go in another rabbit hole i sure did get booted we gave him the boot we should see what he's up to let's see does he have a partner where is he oh my god i forgot she's not even friends with her son Pfft. oopsie uh no he's single i wonder where he's living where are you oh he's a rabid fan wait why is he at city hall oh he's graduating okay that makes sense what is that in the background it sounds like squidward walking oh it's the it's the song it's called sunday stroll <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like Squidward. I've got my headphones on. <laughs> oh, she's playing tic-tac-toe with the with the cow. <laughs> it did sound like Squidward. That's so funny. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, it's Squidward's Sunday stroll, as you know. All right, can we get a perfect plant? Come on, game. Give me something good. Let Sage just live out her farm girl life. Azure deserved more. No, I like Azure. Don't get it twisted. Katie, don't get it twisted. I like Azure. Um, I think we just needed... I needed a little bit of uh, space in the household because I was controlling a lot of Sims at one time. He'll, he'll come back, though. He will come back in Barnacle Bay. I think I'm going to take him with us. So... I think I will. I'm not sure, but I think I will. Okay, Dallas, get back to work, buddy. Oh, Steven Lobos is coming home with Breeze. Okay, Breeze. Is this uh, somebody you're interested in? Steven Lobos or Stefan, right? That's how you say that name, Stefan. I know that there's a Kesha song, Steven. Why you want you come? Oh, he's got he's got a 500k preference for male. Oh, and a 99999 for female. So he's bi. Okay, so he could be a potential. Let's check him out, Steven Lobos. Let's check him out. What is the Enros add-on where you can click on portraits? I think it's Enros portrait panel. The numbers don't lie. He loved both. He really likes the guys and girls. <laughs> the biased bi I've ever seen. <laughs> He's kind of cute. I like changing his hair is a must. The shaved head wasn't doing it for me. Hold on a sec. Let me give him. We got to see his true potential. I got to give him a different outfit. And yes, I know he has a neck seam. Before anyone says anything, I know it's because I put adult clothing on teens. I know because teen males in specific have like no clothes in base game sims 3 i literally have to it's like nothing in the category if i don't all right there's his maddie makeover like a 30 second maddie makeover you think neck seams are cute thank you space apples i try i do the neck seam just for you space apples I do it just for you. <gasps> Waking the baby with a megaphone? That's so evil. <gasps> That's so evil. Wow. Can't believe it. Wait, is not prom tonight? I think it is. Let's see, where's the school at? Right here. Uh, yes, yeah, 6 p.m. Wait, so we can maybe get him a prom date tonight. 
please do it. It's okay, the baby won't remember it. You guys are evil. What are you, Dallas? Are you guys Dallas Shallow? Absolutely evil people in my chat. Y'all shouldn't be parents. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. What do you? Let's see if. Ask about gender preference. Consider his attractiveness. He's unemployed. Why is this baby crying in front of me? Hold on a sec. Let's see. Water. Can I harvest any of these? Sage. Please come over here and try and harvest these. Uh. Okay. We know he's bisexual. Um. I. I took a break from. Uh sims 2 for now it will come back don't worry it will come back i just uh, i'm i'm a student too so it's a little bit difficult for me to it's a little difficult for me right now okay what do you wait did i okay let's see consider the tracking this sims 3 era yeah i'm having a lot of fun with sims 3 honestly i'm loving it he wants, to be, he wants to be friends with Steven. <laughs> Breeze considers Steven Lobos to have a very nice look about them. That's very kind of you, Breeze. Do you want to sleep over? I don't know. So going to be single. Oh! We're going to prom. Okay, that was fast. I really like Breeze's formal attire. Look at that. Look at the limo. So Breeze doesn't have a prom date, unfortunately. Maybe something will happen. I don't know. When he's at prom. Oh, Clementine is playing in the kids clubhouse. Cute. Look at our cute little heir to the next generation in her little clubhouse. I have my first test for my nursing class on Monday, and if the first week is any indication of how the rest of the class will go, I might be an evil nurse too. <laughs> Dallas Shallow Part 2. Right in my chat right now. Is the door, did the door get stuck open? No, I don't know why the door kept getting stuck open. Okay, don't drink the milk. No, 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 no. Go cash those in. Um, I really like the preserves and stuff like that, but... She seems to not ever eat the preserves just like out of her own inventory. She keeps gravitating towards the milk. I don't know why. She looks like a pirate. Yeah, isn't it fitting? All right. She made some preserves or sorry, some jam. Let's have her go eat it scones. Get your scones. Can I? I wonder if I could put the jam in the fridge. Can I do that? No, I can't. Can I put it on the counter? Yes, I can. Theoretically, you could start like your own little jam. Um, your own little jam. Why are you not at prom? Damn it. Your own jam store. In The Sims 3. Those with the jam mod. Thank you, Violet. I'm glad I could help you. Oh, I'm sure you could sell the jam at the consignment store. That's a good idea. I bet you could. I never even thought of that. All right. Well, guys, it looks as though we're going to be staying <laughs> an extra stream here because I really wanted to get sages. I didn't think it would be so difficult. Oh, my God. Breeze got prom king. Nice. I didn't think it'd be so difficult. I'm gonna move this trash can closer because she's keeps walking all the way over there and it's taking way too much time. So I'm gonna make your life easier and I'm gonna bring the trash can right outside. What's left in this gen? We have two objectives left, which is to finish her lifetime wish, which is proving to be more difficult than I thought. And the last lifetime wish or the last objective that we have to do is get her level 10 in the gardener career which is also proving to be incredibly difficult because i'm not selling the the plants as much anymore as i should be so whenever i sell these in her inventory she's not really getting much money for them so it's making this job experience bar go up really really slowly which in turn is making it so she can't so she can't get the level 10 of the gardener career show 
that's kind of sad. Would it sell her? At it would sell higher at the consignment store. <gasps> Breeze just stole a whole tree! He just stole a whole cypress tree! From his school! Oh my god! What is wrong with you, Breeze? <laughs> yeah, stealing trees is a choice. Thank you, Gamer Mommy, for the sub. Gamer Mommy 620 just subscribed. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Oh my god, I can't believe he just did that. Okay, how it oh this is I'm gonna have to figure out if anyone that is watching this video or anyone in stream right now knows a better way to get higher quality plants like perfect quality please let me know because my sim has level 10 in gardening and we still can't get any perfect plants or anything like that i've only gotten two of them which seems like nothing really it seems like nothing I do use fertilizer, I have been. Oh, I don't have the green. Wait, is green thumb one of the... <gasps> is that a reward in here? I never use these really. I always forget they exist. Super green thumb. Such a good idea, Devi. Yes, you are so smart. Let's try that. Hopefully that will, that will help us. Oh, she can't get to these, I don't think. Oh, what? I'm grabbing like the whole, what is going on? Spotlight mushrooms, move those over there. Yeah, we have a lot of plants that are close to perfect quality, but they aren't. Oh, she, I guess she's not in a good enough mood. Oh, Sage got sent a, f a sofa from the manufacturer and a fridge. Oh, like that's like the most, Expensive fridge in the game. Tell them that one. Look at this. I was trying to do like a cute little farmhouse look. And all of our plant or all of our <laughs> furniture keeps getting upgraded because we keep getting sent really nice stuff. I'm going to have to do some more grinding next stream. I, it's all about luck at this point, honestly, is it with Sage's garden. Just like, I don't know. We'll have to do a little bit of trial and error but yeah i guess we're gonna be spending an extra stream in this town though i'm sure you guys don't mind that because a lot of you are barnacle bay certified haters just like i am i have no idea where they're gonna live in barnacle bay i have to think about it oh dallas is teaching drew how to walk he just did that all by himself that's sweet all right, guys, I'm going to end stream there for the evening. I hope you did all enjoy. Ignore my nasty dinner plate that I had when I was streaming. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching tonight's stream. I will see you all next Saturday. Hope you have a good week. And that's it for me. Thank you for the luck, the good looking calculus. I'm going to need it. Calculus is so hard for me. Yeah. All right. Good night, guys. Bye.